What is up everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for another fight companion here. Tonight we have one on Prime video number three. Yes, we are already three in to this deal with Amazon Prime. And honestly, these have been some amazing cards, some amazing fights. And I'm so excited to have you along for the Right. I see that some people are already in the comments. So what is up? Thank you so much for joining. I mean, hopefully tonight it gets as buzzing as it was this morning. We had hundreds of people this morning in the live chat. So excited to see the regulars there as well. But we have a long, long card ahead of us. I know a lot of people are on Amazon Prime right now watching and or you know, which is awesome, actually, the One Championship YouTube channel. So if you need a place to find this, if you're just if you're just moseying by, what is up? Thank you so much for joining. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes, and vote in the poll question as well. All right, let's take a look at some of these comments we have here. Grave Digger saying, howdy. What's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for joining. Aaron's here as well. What's going on, Aaron? Thank you so much for joining, brother. Let's fucking go. Yeah, we have a ton of fights ahead of us here tonight. Um, problem with the card, yes, and we will get into that as well. Uh, Lineker missed weight, so Andraj is eligible for the Bantam weight title, but Linker, if he wins, I don't think he gets it because he was stripped, much like Charles Oliveira. Not not this UFC card, UFC 280, but uh the last one against Justin Gaethje. Again, folks, if you need a place to watch this, jump on to uh, Amazon Prime if you have it and or and or the One Championship YouTube channel. Don't forget to like the video and drop a comment in the live chat, folks. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We do a minimum of two fight companions every single week, sometimes even more, to be perfectly honest. Um, I just moved, by the way, so full disclosure, that's why uh, that's why I'm kind of living out of boxes right now. I got a makeshift uh, little desk here. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I can't skip one championship events, especially especially when they're on Amazon Prime. There's three belts up for grabs tonight, which is unbelievable. Uh, in the main event, obviously, Dion Draj can win the belt. Or is it two? Regardless, we have the first uh, lightweight pro grappling belt on the line, K uh, Cade Rutolo. I mean, it's a great card, folks. It's a great card. You know how we do. We highlight every fighter before... They enter the octagon and start, did I say octagon again? The ring and start throwing down. But again, I want to hear your thoughts on this fight as well. Let me know your predictions and let's highlight both of these women who are starting off the prelims here on Amazon Prime Video 3. Man, I am so pumped. I love one championship. I love what they're doing in the world of mixed martial arts and just martial arts in general. Because, yeah, that's right. We get to see Muay Thai. We get to see kickboxing jiu-jitsu only they call it submission grappling here and some high high level mma as well all right let's uh let's highlight both of these fighters right now then i'll give my prediction we got leah bivens against uh noel grand jean uh leah Biven bivens is making her pro mma debut 20 years old out of the united states uh, she's had three fights on the amateur scene in IMMAF, uh, where she has three wins. Technical submission in her first victory, and then uh, decisions in the second two. So 3-0 on the regional scene, making her pro debut tonight. 20 years old, Leah Bivens. Looking at her opponent, Noelle Grandjean out of Switzerland. Little monkey Grandjean, 3-0, 26 years old. Uh, she has wins in LFC, Fairtex Fight Promotion, and LFL. Uh, can't find any amateur fights on Tapology or Sherdog. So there you go. A newcomer in Leah Bivens, 20 years old, against Noel Grandjean. Relatively new to the sport still as well with three professional bouts, three wins to her name. Let me know your predictions in the live chat, folks. I want to know. 
I want to know. And if you're viewing on Twitter, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. And uh, shout out to my new roommate who poured me a glass of wine before this. I did say on the morning stream that we're maybe going to do it like on the couch and have like a nicer setup. But my buddy Joe, my new roommate, he's uh, he's working tonight. Didn't want to like bring the whole setup out there, then move it back in here for USC in the morning. So I just said, screw it. We're going to do it here. All right. Herb Dean is unfortunately uh, officiating this fight, which I guess that means he won't be in Abu Dhabi, which is a good thing. Someone said that in the live chat this morning. <laughs> Damn it, Herb Dean says Gravedigger. I agree. I agree. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Wrong one. Oh my God. All right, folks, round one, the first fight on the card, M uh, one on Prime Video 3. Let's get it on! Let's get it on. Live play-by-play, -play, live reaction, interaction with you folks in the chat here. I'm so pumped that you're here hanging out with us, watching fights here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Already, both of these women clinch. Bivens with the height advantage for sure, but a nice takedown by Grand Jean. Bivens on her back. Grandjean got the takedown. Definitely some judo experience there. Now attacking the legs is Grandjean. Bivens wants the submission here. Wants to maybe go for an ankle. She's trying to tie her up and even just pull her into her guard, which she does. Bivens does a good job of just dragging Grandjean right into her guard. Poor Herb. No, nah, nah. Trust me. It's, it's well-deserved. It's well-deserved, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, thanks so much for joining again, buddy. Uh, Grave Digger saying he's mo his money's on Leah. Uh, I'm going with Grand Jean. I'm going with uh, the Grand Jean. Grand Jean. Grand Jean. Uh, I'm going with the Swiss fighter with a little bit more experience. She looks just a little bit, you know, bigger here, more just muscular, more developed in the fight game. Bivens making her pro debut against someone who's just this strong, though. I know a lot shorter, but I mean, look at the muscle on this woman. Three minutes and 30 seconds left. Bivens isn't doing much from her back right now. She was just kind of holding Grand Jean in place. Aaron, who do you got in this one? Let me know. Again, shout out to everybody joining. Soon we'll have like a nicer setup. I'll have my desk and everything set up. Kind of like we were doing it last time. I'll get the bonsai tree back out on the table. Don't you worry. We'll get the nice mic and the nice uh, mic stand and all that stuff. But I couldn't pass up an opportunity to stream one championship back to back, no less. Herb Dean steps in, stands him up as Bivens was back to her feet, or sorry, Grand Jean was back to her feet, just kicking the legs of Bivens. Yeah, you can definitely see the striking is very green on Bivens, just really taking some to try to get into that clinch, but she does get in the clinch and some knees to the face of Grand Jean. Bivens doesn't have a tight clinch, though. She's kind of just hold. It almost looks like she's holding onto the hair of Grand Jean. Grand Jean with a decent ju judo throw and right back to her feet is Bivens. Hard to say. Bivens def def definitely looking for the submission was. Yeah, and with a submission victory on her record already, um, I imagine, you know, something she's comfortable with at this stage in her career. Yeah, I mean, her striking looks very, very green. MMA striking, anyways. It's kind of in that Muay Thai stance right now. One minute, 47 seconds left in this first round. In the first fight on one on Prime Video 3, ladies and gentlemen. Is hair grabbing legal? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's legal, even in one championship. Maybe rising. <laughs> one minute, 28 seconds left in this first round. Again, shout out to everyone joining. I appreciate it. You are, all, you are all amazing. If you're viewing on Twitter, please migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat so you can enter our contest. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the video and or, and or 1,200 subscribers here tonight. If we hit either of those two goals, we will give away some prizes. Oh, and it looks like a liver shot, and she knocks her down. 
Liver shot, hook, hammer, fist, 55 seconds. Look at the finish! Oh, it. It. It is all over! What a debut in one championship by Noel Lil Monkey Grand Jean. That was incredible. Body shot, so liver shot. And, and Leah Bivens, it didn't quite drop her, but she like just looked at the official in absolute agony. All right, we're looking at the replay right now. Just straight body punch. And Bivens actually waved to the ref, I'm done, I'm done. And then she got dropped by a hook and then some hammer fists. Oh, straight right to the body. And Bivens was just done after that. And then she got kicked right in the chest, left hook, right, oh, sorry, uh, two right hooks, Herb, of course, and even though she waved, even though, see, this is this is Herb Dean. Now, again, I, I can't, or you can't do that. This is mixed martial arts. You can't get in there and then just, you know, wave it off. But at the same time, she did wave it off, and Herb just let her get hit a few more times. So there you go. Dean's called it. <laughs> Great win, great fight kit. Herb's backing away after. <laughs> wow, aggressive stuff in the one debut indeed. I absolutely love it. Wow, well, what a great way to start this uh, <laughs> this event, folks. Holy crap. So Noel was just saying, uh, I wanted to get this in the first round, but but all respect to my opponent. Three finishes and four wins, four and zero oh professionally in her one championship debut. How about that? How about that? That was beautiful. That was beautiful. All right, folks. Well, that was quick. I'm just going to share this on screen. By the way, shout out to everyone joining us live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Um, the reason I don't have my nice setup, my nice office setup, I just moved. I'm literally still living out of boxes, folks. So bear with me. Bear with me. I couldn't pass up an opportunity, though, to do some streaming here. I just couldn't. I mean, it, it won championship back-to-back, -back, then UFC tomorrow. I mean, we say on this channel we want to do a minimum of two a week. We're doing three, okay? We're doing three. One championship is like, it's honestly my favorite promotion right now. It's unbelievable. Thank you so much for joining everyone. You all are amazing. Keep the comments coming. It's a comment-driven live stream. Live interaction with you folks. Live reaction, live play-by-play. -play. And we have some giveaways too. So if you're just stopping by, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. If we get to 50 likes on the video and or 1,000 200 subscribers. If we had either of those two goals, we will give away some prizes. If you're viewing on Twitter, by the way, migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. Hey, hey, Sean, what's going on? Oh my God, Sean. Sean, the first ever donation on the channel. By the way, I'm sorry if my connection's fucking up, folks. Yeah, I apologize for that. It was doing it was doing better this morning, so I apologize for that. I'm trying to get it. Uh, I'm trying to get it back online here. All right, let's try that. So what happens when you're in the middle of the move and you know you're not quite got the modem right next to you yet? It's as close as it can be. So I'm doing my best. But uh, Sean, again, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, for those who are just joining the channel, I, I apologize. The connection issues aren't aren't good. I'm addressing it right now. We're gonna make sure that we address the connection. The quality improves. We're gonna be here all night, ladies and gentlemen. But Sean, yes, by the way, for everyone watching, Sean is the first, the first donation. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting the channel, man. You're an absolute beauty. Payne, what's going on? Wow, Herb Dean called a fight. I never thought the day would come. Well, it it, it took a little bit. I mean, the uh, the woman who just uh, got 
punched in the stomach. I mean, she like looked, she looked at Herb Dean and was like, no, no, I don't want any more of this. And then, you know, she had to get hit a few more times after that. Uh, why did she get 50 K one championship just gives out money left, right. And center like Sean, apparently, holy shit. Thank you so much. Another donation. So you have the first two donations, Sean. I appreciate it. Buddy. Wow. I'm, 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 hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I'm speechless. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, pain. I think one championship just gives out bonuses. If, uh, you know, if the commissioner digs the fight. Okay, I will follow you back, my man. I'll follow you back. All right, I'm going to take just a quick break. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, I don't feel like I deserve it right now because my connection is just absolute shit. StreamYard, what the fuck is going on here? We got to get, uh, what was his name? Eddie? We got to get Eddie back. Eddie back to try to fix the problem. God damn. Anyways, I'm going to continue to tinker with it as, as we uh, as we continue to stream here. I mean, this is like we're barely an hour in. We're 23 minutes in. We're on the prelims. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure the universe will sort things out. I'm sure I can. Uh, I'm sure I can, uh, you know, jiggle a few wires here. and We'll get things. Uh, we'll get things back in HD and better quality than we're than we're at right now. But let's continue the show. Let's continue the show. And again, Sean, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm going to tune back in a little bit, watching this with the family right now. All right, Payne, I appreciate it, buddy. I'll see you later. First scoring in Thursday Night Football. Now Herb Dean actually calling it correctly. The fuck? Hey, man, sometimes sometimes the stars align. Am I right? Am I right? Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Again, Sean, you're an absolute beauty, buddy. Thank you so much for the donations. I appreciate it. Um, all right, I'm going to take a quick break before we highlight the next two Muay Thai fighters here, folks. Maybe I can... Like I said, pull a couple strings and uh, get StreamYard support to help me out because it shouldn't be like this. It should not be like this. We, we were killing it this morning. We had some great connection earlier. And uh, we're just in the prelims right now. So I'm going to see if I can fix this early. So I'm going to take a quick break. Literally two minutes. The fighters are walking out. Keep the comments coming. Talk amongst yourselves. And uh, I'll get right back to your comment and uh, Sean and Grave Digger in a moment. Then we'll highlight the fighters. I'll give my prediction. And then I want to hear yours live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on the other side.
We are back live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Tinkered with some things. I hope the connection gets a little bit better as the night goes on. But again, folks, just moved here. Just got everything set up. Um, for those who are new to the channel, welcome. I wish it could be under better circumstances, given that this is a huge event. Um, this morning, I had no issues with the internet. But hey, having some connection issues today, but hey, we're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. Live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and live interaction with all you amazing fans, amazing supporters of the City Life Project YouTube channel. Here we do a minimum of two fight companions every single week. What's a fight companion? Well, it's live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, Live reaction, live interaction with you folks. We have a contest going on as well, so like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. That's as easy as that. If we get to 50 likes on the video, we'll start giving away prizes, and then we'll set some other goals and have a chance for you folks to win some more giveaways, win some more merchandise from the City Life Project merch store. All right. This is a Muay Thai fight, folks. Small glove Muay Thai fight. So fucking pumped for this one. We got a little USA represent representing here at one championship. Asa 10 Pow fighting out of the United States, West Palm Beach, Florida, to be exact. And his opponent, Mehdi Zat, uh, Zatu, fighting out of France. Zatu, a veteran kickboxer, 39 years old. Asa 10 Pow, 33. Both of them standing 5-9, being announced in the center of the ring right now. Uh, Gravedigger's going with Asa Ten Pow. You know, I'm going to have to go with the younger guy as well. I just moved to the States, so red, white, and blue, baby. Actually, wait. I shouldn't say that since the France flag is literally red, white, and blue. Star-spangled banner, baby. Let's freaking go. Sean, I appreciate it, man. Again, apologize, folks, if the connection goes in and out here. Uh, just moved to a new spot. As you can see, I'm literally like sitting on the ground with some pillows right now watching this fight on a makeshift table. But I couldn't skip a stream. It's one championship, baby. I couldn't skip one on Prime Video 3. And I'm excited to hang out with all you folks throughout the evening. It's been going good. Just super busy, brother. Been super busy. I literally packed up my stuff and moved to the United States. So still kind of settling in, clearly. But uh, excited to be watching some fights. Southeast for the win. All right, round one, folks. Let's get it all. First Muay Thai fight on the card. Three three-minute rounds. Zatu against Tenpao. Front kicks already by Tenpao. Side kick to the body by Zatu, followed by a right hand. I'm just getting so pumped, folks. You can see me rearrange here on the ground. Oh, and nice leg kick by Tenpao. I mean, back and forth. These fighters have been going so far. Leg kick dodged by Zatu. Zatu just 
makes him pay on the counter. Actually punches, like, missed kick, and he punched, he punched him downward as he kind of ducked there. Solid combo by Zatu. Spinning back kick attempt by Ten Pao, and Zatu makes him pay again with the counter. Not doing anything fancy here is Zatu mostly playing the counter game. Ten Pao wants to do something crazy. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment-driven live stream. You are all amazing. Thank you so much for joining. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We're trying to get to 50 likes on the video. If we hit that, then you know what? We'll set a few more goals. We have a sub goal of 1,200 subscribers. If we reach that goal as well, we'll give away some prizes. But like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. Even say what's up, and you're automatically entered in winning some THPN merch if we hit 50 likes on the video. Oh, and a nice elbow by Ten Pal, but he almost threw too much force in that. He got countered by Zato and then kind of fell back. Zato now taunting him a little bit with the boxing shuffle. Zato just oozing with confidence right now. Hands, hands low, dodging Ten Pal. This is incredible. He's going full fucking matrix on Ten Pal right now. 55 seconds left in this first round. First round of three in the first Muay Thai small glove kickboxing match here in one championship. A spinning elbow attempt by Ten Pao, but Zatou read that. Dude, yes, Zatou, he's taunting him. He is oozing with confidence right now. Zatou, the 39 year old veteran. Ten Pao tagged him there with the left hook, though. But just bullying him is that out. Ethan, what's going on, Ethan? What's good, man? It's been a little while, Ethan. I actually packed up my shit last week, moved to the United States, drove halfway across North America to get here. Oh, the nice name by Zato. Zato's going for the finish. I think there's only 10... 10 seconds left in this round. Oh, oh my God. Zato went in for the knee. Went in for the knee and Ten Pao. And Ten Pao with the Korean zombie, you know. Oh my goodness. The upward elbow. I don't think it landed, but that technique was crisp and clean. But Zato is just oozing confidence he's taunting his opponent and his big strikes are landing wow his technique's good but yeah ethan uh by the way back to what i was saying um the reason i'm kind of just sitting on the floor right now in this makeshift makeshift studio setup which i have to send a picture to pain earlier he added me on twitter i told him i'd send a picture of my makeshift studio. Um, I'm setting everything up. I'm still getting settled in Minnesota, still getting settled in my new home. And once I do, I'll get the whole streaming uh, desk and everything set up. Hopefully picking up a desk tomorrow. Not in time for UFC 280 in the morning, but tomorrow. And uh, and yeah, then we can settle back in and the bonsai tree will get its rightful place back on my table. And that's it, folks. Look at the damn show! Boom! That's it. No more. I don't know if it was from his corner or if he just himself waved it, but those knees at the end there were deadly. Three minutes. That's all it took the 39-year-old. Three minutes to get this done. Those knee strikes were deadly. Holy, how about one championship right away, folks? Right away. And we have two finishes at the end of the first round. About to look like the Volk and Korean zombie fight. With less respect, yeah. So it looked like that left eye after that first knee, and then he just crumbled after that. He tried to do that spinning elbow there as we're watching the replay, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Shout out to everyone watching, by the way. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for joining this amazing fight companion. You all make this ama uh, amazing, by the way. So excited to have you all here. You know the drill. Like the video. Drop a comment in the live chat. Yes, we're doing giveaways tonight. We're trying to get to 50 likes or 1,200 subscribers. 
And if we hit 50 likes, we'll, we'll, we'll make, we'll throw another goal of a hundred. We're hoping to give away three prizes here tonight, folks. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Tim Powers I, or is out hyped for the UFC tomorrow, man. Actually on a reasonable time for me as well. Main card starts at 7 p.m. for me. Usually it's like 4 a.m. Yeah, for me, it starts, I think, 1 p.m. Central time. So it's not, it's not bad for me now that I'm on Central time in the USA. Oh, Zato with his two kids with him. Center of the ring giving his interview. The champ is here. Let's go. The champ is here indeed. Brian, how's it going, brother? I hope you're feeling better today. Brian was here earlier today as well as Grave Digger. Aaron was uh, stopped by as well. And again, I have to give some hype. Sean with the first ever donation on the channel. Sean, and, and then he, he did it again. So thank you so much, Sean. You're an absolute beauty. Zatu got this. He absolutely got it. He's an absolute stud. Thank, thank you, Malaysia. I love the country. He didn't say he's retiring yet. His eyes fucked. I want to. I want to see it again. I, I. Oh, here we go. We're gonna see the replay again. Ooh, man. Tom, what's going on, buddy? Tom, I am now in your country, my man. I am now in the USA. Look at that, Brian saying, "What's up, everybody? What's going on?" Yeah, one p.m. The main card starts. Cheers, everybody, by the way. Happy Friday. My uh, my awesome new roommate, or well, one of my awesome new roommates. I do have two. Although, sorry, Joe, I like Hannah better. <laughs> uh, she poured me a glass of wine before the stream, so thank you, Hannah. Mm, so good. I mean, grape juice, YouTube. It's grape juice. Pfft, let's not get crazy here, guys. Happy Friday. Uh, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I don't... Um, what is this? This is Portuguese, I'm guessing. I don't speak Portuguese. I don't speak Spanish either. Je parle français. Um, I'm going to be doing play-by-play, -play, reaction, interaction, and just by commenting, you've automatically entered into winning some prizes. Oh, and look at that. He gets the 50 grand. Unbelievable. Um, so, Osmar, I, I can't necessarily understand what you're writing, but I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. We aren't showing the fights here. The fights are on YouTube. The fights are on Amazon Prime. And actually, in the description of this video, uh, I've also linked some of the the links that am or that one championship actually put in their description for those who you know aren't in the aren't in North America and can't watch it on Amazon. Some of the other spots that you can watch this. So I hope that you stick around, Osmar, for some play by play, even if this isn't uh, your your native tongue, because we have a great fight community here. Good to see you again. What's up, everybody? Brian may be the champ, but I'm the goat. You, indeed, Brittany. Indeed. Exactly that. You can disagree. Vancouver Island is beautiful than Minnesota. Oh, dude, Vancouver Island is a thousand times more beautiful than Minnesota. I didn't leave Vancouver Island because I didn't think it's beautiful. I just have friends friends over here, and it was time for a change. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. More dono hype. Ethan. I'm putting that on the sugar show, my man. I am taking... I am taking your donation and I'm putting it on Sean O'Malley, baby. Let's get the underdog. Let's go. Ethan, thank you so much, brother. You, you've been supporting the channel for so long just by joining. And by the way, I'm not, I'm never going to ask any of you for donations or anything like that. If you want to donate, I appreciate it. It's literally just going to help pay for all the cameras that I've like sunk all my money into. No, 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 some of my money into, but uh, at, at the end of the day, you, you just showing up, hanging out with us, commenting in the live chat entering our contest so that we can give back to you guys and just talking fights that's all i care about at the end of the day everything else is extra ethan a hundred percent going to be putting that on the sugar show and i appreciate it i mean yeah, that's shit beautiful than a motherfucker thank you so much my man oh it was his last fight he is retiring 39 years old. His kids are there. 
He's emotional. He's taking his gloves off. I don't know why I grabbed all these pillows. Ugh. Making myself comfortable here. Again, like, look, I don't even have, honey, I don't have my desk set up or anything, folks. <laughs> At least it's not a bad site. It's just an empty wall and, you know, a map of the earth. <laughs> Uh, just finally got a community tab on the channel. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Yeah, YouTube has been giving away a uh, community tab. They used to only give community tabs to those who got 1,000 subscribers, but Kyle and I got it at around 500. So I'm glad, buddy. I'm glad. And I, and I, like, the new, uh, I like the new profile picture, Tom. I dig it. He's done. He's emotional. His kids are there. This is beautiful. Hey, I tip my cap to you, sir. That was an incredible fight. Oh, man. Yeah, he's starting to... Starting, he's, he's trying to keep it together, but wow. Beautiful. And what a beautiful way to end off a career in Muay Thai in, in an incredible promotion that is one championship. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, Ethan won a hoodie. Ethan won a hoodie. Brian won some merch. Quite a quite a few people have won some merch here. Happy retirement indeed. Exactly that. You need a big ass backdrop like what they hang over the cage. Yeah, I know. And hey, that's actually a good idea for uh for like these fight streams. I should just get like a, just a little like makeshift rolling, like just like cage with that over and just having the background. I got some ideas for some stuff. I mean, this is my room. It's just very empty right now. There's a treadmill that we're moving out of here on my right. There's a workout bike on my left. There's a little makeshift bed here. And then a guitar case on two totes and my computer. And, it, it, you know, it's not fancy, but go check it. If you're new to the channel, go check out our last live streams. I mean... The people in the live chat will vouch for me. The streams usually are crisp, clean, and beautiful. Not to say it's not beautiful right now. I mean, I got my nice waggle hat on, my, my favorite hoodie on. It's not like we ain't beautiful right now. It's just, uh, it's just a little... Uh, I'm, I'm just living out of boxes right now, okay? I'm just living out of boxes. All right. Let's get the next fight teed up here. I mean, these prelims are just rolling, folks. And you know what? Whoops. Um, I'm not surprised. This happened the last few times on one championship, folks. Oh, my God. We got another Muay Thai fight up next. I cannot wait. Uh, Amir Nasseri, too. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm half Canadian, half Persian. Um, very much more Canadian, if you can, uh, <laughs> if you can tell by my accent. My mom's uh, was actually born in the states, though. My dad born in Iran. He's now he's been a Canadian citizen for what, forty some years. Uh, but you know the the Persian heritage. I take a little bit of a, pr a pride in that. Pride in like the people of Iran, like. Not their fucked up government, but we won't get into that on this stream. Long or the short of it, Amir Nasseri, an Iranian fighter. Probably going to choose him as my pick here. Taking on Takey Nato. Oh, I can't wait. What is it? Uh, 1 163 in Japan with, also, with some OG Japanese fighters. I mean, that card, I looked at uh, someone in the chat. Was it Gravedigger who told me to look that one up? Someone in the chat earlier today told me to look up that card and oh my god is it a banger it's an absolute banger i cannot wait for one championship when they go back to japan so we got another muay thai fight up next folks against the 26 year old taking nato uh taking on the unranked amir nasri he's fighting out of malaysia unranked um they're both there's let's see nazari's five nine nato's five eight uh nato has a 70 inch reach advantage and amir has 72 inches so two inch reach advantage for the muay thai fighter 
Let me know who you got. I'll get right back to the comments in just a moment here, folks. I just want to quickly share this fight on Twitter. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Like that they give him a camera time for the retirement. No, absolutely. And he's a legend, a legend of ki uh, in kickboxing. Uh, did Zatsu lose the fight? No, he won. He dominated. So his opponent gave up on the stool after the first round. Oh, Ethan, I, I'll uh, I'll get into that. Gravedigger, I show you, I showed you that card. Yes, Gravedigger showed that card. Ethan, we'll get into this in one moment. But hey, chat, let, let's get into this conversation. If you're just joining right now, too, uh, if you're in the chat, answer Ethan's question. I know you all must be UFC fans. So I'll get to that in a moment. I just want to quickly share this link on Twitter. So give Ethan your answer, and I'll get right back to it personally. Because I, I want to know, folks. I want to know your thoughts on it and i'll definitely give my thoughts as well shout out to everyone joining us by the way like the video drop a comment in the live chat if you haven't already for a chance to win some prizes we're trying to get to 50 likes on the video if we get to 50 likes we'll start giving away some prizes we're trying to get to uh, or 1200 subscribers here so those are our two goals but if we had 50 likes we'll choose a winner and then we'll extend it to 100 likes. We get 100 likes, we'll choose another winner. We're going to strive to give away three prizes here tonight, folks. All right. All right, I see the chat's already uh, answered the bat signal here. If you're just viewing, I have, the, I have the question on the screen. If you're viewing on Twitter, what the hell are you doing? Get your ass over to YouTube. Get your ass over to YouTube so you can join our live chat and enter our contest. Um, how many are how many are you on Twitter right now? I can I can see. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment driven live stream and an incentive to do so. If you comment in the live chat, you're automatically entered into winning some prizes. If we had 50 likes and you've liked the video and dropped a comment in the live chat. You're automatically entered into winning some prizes. It doesn't matter if you comment once or a hundred times. Everybody who comments, it's automatically noted. I run a random generator and bam, we have here if we hit our goal. So appreciate you all joining. We are building a tremendous fight community here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you all along for the ride. Trust me, I'll get right back to the comments. I'm just letting it marinate. I just want a few of them. That's why. I just want a few comments before I jump back in there. And I'm also sharing this on Twitter. Migrate over to YouTube and get of the connection goes out tonight. I'm still unpacking. I'm still living out of boxes. I haven't set up my like full setup yet with the desk and you know closer to the modem and all that stuff. So the stream this morning and this one, not to say it's a test run because we've been doing many, many of these streams. We're building the channel around, you know, the fight community as well. Don't judge. Bear with us. It's been going in and out, but it will get better. Um, it's not going to be like this forever. I said for the stream tonight and moving forward, um, this is the first day I've been sh back streaming in a little while. So I moved to it, to be perfectly honest. So, so there you go. So I apologize if the, if the connection goes in and out. It has been correcting itself. Um, not really correcting itself. It's just I, I've been on top of it. And uh, we have the support at StreamYard who are on top of it as well. So I apologize. It will get better, I promise. All right. Back to the comments we go. Uh, what's my take on the main three fights tomorrow? Well, I mean, you left out one. Benil Darius should extend his win streak, number one. Uh, two, Sean O'Malley is going to shock the world. First round, knockdown, then TKO. <laughs> That's my heart speaking. Peter Jan's going to absolutely destroy him. But hey, I'm putting the money that uh, Ethan donated towards Sean O'Malley. Um... I think TJ Dillashaw, like, look, he's a, he's a legend of the game. I, I try to, I hate, obviously, that the PED thing is going to haunt him forever. And rightly so. It should, and he deserves that. At his prime, I mean, 
he was so exciting to watch. I mean, when he beat Henan Barrow, holy shit, no one thought that was going to happen. When he beat Garbrandt twice, he was on top of the world. Again, he could have been juiced up that whole time. But benefit of the doubt, the guy's awesome. The guy's, though, at the end of his career. And yeah, maybe there's an argument that he did beat Sanhagen. There's an argument that, hey, even if he didn't beat Sanhagen, he showed tremendously well because he was injured half that fight too, right? Or more than half of that fight. With all that being said, I think Aljamain Sterling's in his absolute prime. I think Aljamain Sterling's in like the stupidest good, sh like best shape I've seen an athlete in his weight division. Like how the fuck is that guy? How does he weigh in at 135 pounds? And he doesn't look like unhealthy. He just looks jacked to the nines, no body fat at all. I think he's a tremendous athlete. And I think if, I mean, look, he beat Piotr Jan. He beat Piotr Jan. He didn't let Piotr Jan hit him in the last fight. I'm sorry, but Piotr Jan is way better than TJ, TJ Dillashaw right now. So that's what I think about that one. Uh, main event, I mean, you, got, you guys know. The champion has a name, and his name is Charles Oliveira. Makachev has no business. No business fighting for a title. He doesn't. He was supposed to fight Benil Dariush for a title eliminator. And he didn't. Now, I'm not blaming him for that. Benny, Benil Dariush had to pull out due to an injury. That's fine. They should have rebooked it. Look, you beat Dan Hooker on short notice. You beat Bobby Green on short notice. Like, are you kidding? That's going to get you a title shot? I don't care if it's 11-0. Rec, I don't care. You can't crush cans and get a title shot. You can't do it. Especially when you have Benil Dariush just taking out top guys. Especially when you have, you know, Michael Chandler again just knocking on the cusp. I mean, there's so many 155ers that are knocking on the cusp. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Having said all that, I think Charles Oliveira is way better than Makachev. And I don't think... Look, Makachev has elite wrestling and okay striking. Oliveira has elite grappling. Not just jujitsu, grappling. He's strong. He's huge now. And his striking was able to knock down Justin Gaethje, was able to stun Michael Chandler. The motherfucker hits hard. I mean, the champion has a name. His name is Charles Oliveira. Um, TJ Young, Caitlin. All right, your money's on Taco here, Gravedigger. Um, usually I side with kind of like the young star and they're, they're kind of pushing him here a little bit, but Hey, I'm of Iranian descent. I am Persian like the cat. Furry like one too. I'm going with Amir locking it in. Gravedigger's money is on Taco. Damn. That's what knocked his opponent. I out pretty much, man. It was nasty. Uh, Gravedigger was the, the question. The question was, what's your take on the main three UFC fights tomorrow? Uh, yeah, man. I'm like, again, I just, I just moved in with some, some new roommates and I just haven't like set my stuff up in like the sweet spot of the house and, or like got a Wi-Fi booster or any of that stuff yet, because I, I literally just moved here. I don't even have really a bed yet. So like I'm slowly, but surely getting back into things and I wasn't going to stream this weekend just because of that. Cause it was a little bit of a risk with the connection issue and things like that. And just like, you know, not having a, a pretty setup on the eyes, you know, a pretty setup for, for you folks, but, uh, selfishly I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> I bet on Charles Aljo and sugar show all to win. Good picks. Good picks. Look, Piotr Jan should win. And it's no disrespect to Sean O'Malley. We don't know what Sean O'Malley is yet. We don't know if he's in the elite ranks yet. Never mind. I don't know. I don't have Fight Pass nor the cash for UFC 280. I'm mostly lucky to see the lead card. Fight Pass is awesome. I, I highly recommend getting Fight Pass because it's it's not too expensive. It's like, you know, cut one of your other streaming services like... I don't know, man. Who the fuck really watches Disney if you have that shit, right? Like, cut one of those that you don't really watch 
hell, take a break from Netflix and just put the whatever to seven ninety nine towards Fight Pass. That's my recommendation. I would say ditch Amazon Prime because there's not much to watch on there either, except for hello. <laughs> One on Amazon Prime three, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Um, if I'm actually going to bet, though, on tomorrow's card, Ethan, I mean, the, the Darius Gamrot fight is, that's going to be, that might, that's, might be just like the people's main event. I'm going to move the, I'm going to do a little experiment here. I'm going to move the mic closer and the keyboard over here. You guys can probably hear me a little bit better now, eh? I'm not even using like my mic, my, my baby. I'm using the, the backup mic. All right, do we is there a belt on the line for this one? Amir Nasri. He looks fucking jacked, by the way. Holy. I generally think Aljo will get the business done. Be too much for TJ. I, I think so too. I think so too. And like, I remember teachers like, oh yeah, well, I was like a D1 wrestler. He was like a D2. Dude, buddy, this is like, you're in the UFC and Aljo's had more fights than him. Aljo's record looks pretty damn nice as well, if I do say so myself. Zoomer Loyalist, what's up, buddy? Hazmat verse Covington. Conf that was confirmed today? I saw that Uncle Dana wanted to, um, or that granted Hamzat permission to fight again at 170. All right, tail the tape here. Amir Nasri, 30 years old. Taki Nato, 26. 5'8 is Nato. 5'9 is Nasri. All right, so this isn't a championship round. Three knockdowns in the round. No throws or grappling. 10-point must system. Three three-minute rounds, folks. I fucking love one championship. Zoomer Loyalist. We'll get into that more in this stream because that's huge. That's huge. Like, oh, I can only imagine how unreal the wrestling is going to be. Or if, like, Hamza's just going to try to stand with him, stuff all his takedowns, and just beat him up on the feet. Zoom, are you overhyping him? Colby, in my opinion, beat Usman in that second fight, and Hamza just about beat Burns. Yeah, but, I mean, Ethan, come on. Like, <laughs> and look. I'm by no means underselling Colby Covington. He's he's the top contender in that division. And he still is. And he arguably beat Usman that... Ah, arguably. I didn't have it that way, and I have no bias. And if anything, I don't really like Usman. So I was kind of rooting for Colby in that one. And I still... I personally think Usman won that one very narrowly. Um, I just am excited for this one because the pace that Hamza puts on, I haven't seen Colby fight at that pace. Colby is like a rest, a very flowy wrestler, like a like a more polished Brunson, right? More polished and like stronger in his weight class, Brunson, but very flowy, very not not explosive like Hamza Chimaev. So it's gonna be interesting. And if and Hamza wants to box with him, she. Kobe out works him. I've been beat Usman in that second fight. Uh, oh, here we go. Better cardio, better chin, better wrestling. I will say better cardio, yes. Better chin, we'll see. Better wrestling, let's go. All right, round one. Let's get it on, folks. Let's get it on. Takinado in the second round, locking it in. All right, 135ers here. Muay Thai, just like we saw in the previous bout, folks. Small glove Muay Thai. Center of the cage are both these fighters right now. Like the video if you haven't already, folks. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Apologies about the connection going in and out today. Um, it was working well this morning. And uh, yeah, I, again, I, I apologize. We're, we're going to address it for the next stream and hopefully later this evening. I just moved. I'm living out of boxes. It is what it is. This, this is the first day back streaming and I don't even have a desk yet. <laughs> but I couldn't pass up an opportunity to watch one championship with you folks. All right. Play by play, interaction, reaction in this fight companion. Low kicks now being exchanged by both these fighters. Two minutes left in this first round. Center of the ring. Nice left jab by Nasri. Body kicking. It was caught by Nato. Let's go. 
Left hook and kind of a sloppy entry by Nasri, not really knowing what he's doing. Not throwing his kick, his high kicks anyways, with much intent. He's kind of just throwing them out there. Which in MMA you don't want to do, but I guess in you know this this style of Muay Thai where there's no clinch and no takedowns is okay. Oh, and NATO really working the the low kicks on Nasri. Those outside low kicks to the lead leg. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comment driven live stream. We'll get right back to them in a second. Again, outside low kick, NATO. That one seemed to piss off Nasser. He sees it's like he came in with a vengeance, didn't land anything though. There's a high kick by Nasser. And then a right hook. And then an outside low kick for himself as well. But NATO catches his kick, hits him with a right hand. So far, pretty even bell with 50 seconds left in this first round. Let me know what your thoughts are on this fight as well, folks. And I'll get right back to the comments in just a moment's time. We're talking about UFC 280 as well as that's a hot topic here. Some hard hooks by Nasri, but again, NATO's game plan, pretty evident. Oh, and that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Nasri misses with the high kick, ducks. NATO ducks and then hits him in the face with a kick. That was some matrix ass shit. Matrix ass shit right there, folks. Say that 10 times fast. Um, oh, tags NATO with a hook and then an elbow. NATO shakes his head, but Nasri ending that first round strong. We're probably going to see that sequence in the replay again, folks. <laughs> Didn't do the best job of explaining it in real time, so my apologies. But that was sick. I mean, the broadcast says, I mean, the first round was them trading kicks. Yes, not necessarily low kicks. I'd have to say NATO was doing a lot better in the low kick department. Uh, the Canucks are doing uh, absolute shit. Rated R. Tom, their scoring cannot keep a lead, and their defense is just bleeding goals. Demko not happy. Boudreaux not happy. It's an absolute shit show. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Brady fight. Yeah, man. I, I really, really like Sean Brady. And, you know, Bilal Muhammad's kind of a quote-unquote boring fighter, very wrestling, heavy fighter, grappling, heavy fighter. But I think this is going to be a good matchup. I think... I don't think he's going to bully Brady. All right, round two, folks. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Danny says he's going to make it happen, basically. Oh, and a nice sweep kick by Nato. Well, let's hope Hamza makes weight. The one thing is Hamza's way bigger than Colby. Like, Colby walks around at, like, 180, right? So he doesn't have to cut that much weight. Last thing, I don't think it's going five. Hamza... Subs or knocks out Colby's third round. Second round, lock it in. And I want Colby to win. I, I'm just calling it how I see it. Ooh, almost one minute into this second round. Trading kicks again. Nice left jab by Nato. I love the explosiveness in what time one championship, folks. Exchanging of jabs. Limping a little bit was Nasri. His lead leg. I mean, it's going to get banged up here. I mean, that's Muay Thai. He's showing it on his face, though, and it looks like he's really, really laboring there. And Nato sweeps him again. Still in the middle of the ring. High kick by Nasri. Caught by Nato. Nothing really on the counter. I'll get right back to your comments in a sec here, folks. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. I love hanging out with you. I love interacting. I love when the chat's buzzing. Like the video button. Show in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Yeah, he's just... He just really wants to pick apart that leg. So he's just hitting it. Even, even if he knows it's going to send Nasri to the ground, I think he's just going to sweep it regardless. Nasri throwing it down. I'm sure they'll show it in one of the replays again, even if even after the fight. 
Oh, Nato caught the kick and tried to throw on the exit, but did not land. Left hook landed on Nasri. Nasri getting his ass in the second round, if I do say so myself. Nato not doing a lot of damage. Not really even striking much to the head, just really picking apart that left lead leg of Nasri. Oh, and there, that was a nice low kick. Outside, high low kick. So just above the knee on Nato, starting to bruise a little bit. Final sentences of the second round, and Nato tried to throw a massive one round, no misses. Good job by Nato with the push kick as he read Nasri coming in with the uppercut. Oh, man. Respect by both these fighters. That's what you want to see in between rounds. But round two in the books, going in the third and final round. I mean, shoot, that first round was really close. Maybe that's the first round of the NATO, though. Um, so we're not seeing this third round. I, I have NATO's up two, or it's dead in my, in my opinion. I think Azusman is way more of a new striker than Hamza will ever be. Plus, Kobe's wrestling background and there's that bullshit. Brian, I agree to disagree, man. I don't think Usman striking is good at all. At all. He has power. He does not have good striking in my opinion. Hamza doesn't have great strike yet here. But, Hamza, I think... He seems like he trains more at this stage of his career than Usman, where Usman still trains, but not, not adding tools to his belt anymore. Rahamza still fun, still wants just to be the best, still a lot younger than Usman. So we'll see. I mean, all good points, don't get me wrong, and everyone actually in regards to that conversation. But I mean, I saw people saying that fucking Masvidal had a chance against Colby. I didn't think that was true at all. Thumbs up, there's way more chance, and that's where I'm putting my mind. He's just more explosive. It's just the style. It's just the style that he had versus Colby's. And he does a great job. I, I can't wait. If that's actually confirmed, we can keep that set now. Streams come fuck up. Two minutes left in the third and final round, folks. What's up, PJ Walter? What's going on? You got the hoodie. Yeah, I'm so happy. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comments, I apologize if the quality quality of the stream goes in and out. I'm still, uh, I'm still in the midst of moving. I'm living out of boxes. Don't have my full setup yet, so I apologize for that. It will be addressed moving forward. And our stream is usually crisp and clean, as the regulars know. Oh, Pinche, I know, buddy. I know. Thanks for pouring out my fault. I'm, I'm doing my best, buddy. I mean, I, I can't really do much else. New to, the, new to this place, still trying to figure out where to be as far as being on Wi-Fi, where to be as far as having Wi-Fi boosters, where to be as far as if I have to move the modem. But anyways, we're going to do the best we can, buddy. We're going to do the best we can. One minute left in this uh, third and final round. Final 50 seconds. I know, folks, and I I don't know why, because on everything on my end says good, and it keeps going in and out. But all right, thirty seconds left, and they are just throwing. Yeah, me too. But the fucking eight K cam in front of me, but no eight K internet right now. Internet test, everything says good. I don't know. Ten seconds left, and both of these fighters were just throwing. Just throwing. They both recognize that. I mean, it could be a close fight around each.
And there it is. And that's it. How can it finish it? And it's all over. Who do you have winning that fight? Let me know. I'm just, I'm curious how you scored that one. I think I think Nato won. He won the second and third round. I think Amir Nasri won the first round. It's a 10 point must system, three three minute rounds. That's how I'm scoring this one. Let me know in the live chat how you scored this one. Don't forget to like the video and drop a comment in the live chat too for a chance to win some prizes. <laughs> Shane's texting me right now. Anyways, Shane's not in the live chat, but he's texting me. What the hell, Shane? All right, official decision. I'm curious about this one. We had some questionable judging earlier today. Yep. <laughs> and he takes it. He takes it, ladies and gentlemen. Takey NATO. How's the connection now, folks? See, the connection's a lot better now. Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no rhyme or reason. Just keeps going in and out. So I got uh, StreamYard support on the line. They're going to help us out. Just listening into the center of the ring right now. The Silent Sniper, that's a cool nickname. Proves his record to 35-9 and nine in Muay Thai. Fun fight there. Fun fight for sure. A lot of leg kicks. More, more of a tactical fight than anything. But I dig it. Yeah, Gravedigger, you would be right. And you predicted this one. You picked this one. So congratulations to you, buddy. All right, let's get into the next fight here, folks. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Ooh, last card or last fight on the prelim. So this is the featured prelim bout, ladies and gentlemen, and it's back to mixed martial arts. Welcome to having the wonderful U.S. internet. Thanks, Joe Biden, for the build back better. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe, for the uh, for the internet. No, we'll get it figured out, folks. Don't worry. Again, I am I. The regulars know. For the new people who are just joining, I apologize, you know, for the, the quality of the stream going in and out. Um, I do encourage you to like the video and drop a comment in the live chat regardless because I'll just give you some free shit for your, uh, for your troubles if you win our contest. So there you go. There you go. We give back. We give back. But uh, I'll figure it out. Like, again, I don't even have a desk. I'm not even set up usually where I'm probably going to be streaming, like in this room or even maybe even like the living the living space. Um, so, yeah. I don't want to necessarily call this a test because we don't we don't test live streams here. We just do them. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of like okay, this is the first one I'm doing in this area of the house without an internet booster. I kind of wanted to see okay, what what are we what are we what are we working with? And so far, it's, it's not that good. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm getting an internet booster anyways for my little office that I moved into. And if I have to get closer to the the modem or plug in, I mean, we'll we'll do that. But again. First day of streaming back after moving to Minnesota from Canada. So I hope you all can have a little patience with me. I mean, this morning we had a great, great uh, stream. And I, I don't think it went too off the rails as far as the connection. <laughs> well, let's just, uh, without getting too political, because I want to keep it to fights, not politics here. But we can bitch on Biden for the shitty internet. That's all right. Um let's just say Canada right now is not in a much better spot. So I have friends in the States. I have a podcast that is based out of Minnesota. LFA is here and it was just time for a change. I left my last company that I helped start. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just time for a change. So here we are, here we are. And we will get the internet address. I mean, it's looking pretty good right now. It's looking pretty good right now. 
All right, we will highlight both of these fighters as they make their walk out to the octagon. Oh, God damn it, I said it again. I need like a little like, every time I say octagon, not. Circle cage. Shout out to everyone joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Drop a comment in the live chat. Join our great fight community that we're building here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. All right, who do we have next year? Jeremy Miado uh, against Daniel Williams. Jeremy Miado, 11 and 4. Fights out of the Philippines, 29 years old. Uh, he is currently 4 and 1 in his last five fights, winning his last three fights in a row. Uh, fighting uh, six months ago, actually, where he won via TKO, where he beat Lito Adiwang by knee injury. So TKO due to, oof, probably kicking his legs there. His opponent was 13 and 4 at the time. Jeremy Miado in his athletic prime of 29 years old, 11 and 4, fighting out of the Philippines, and he's plus 210. Underdog. Looking at his opponent, Daniel Williams, mini T Williams, minus 270 favorite out of Australia. He's riding a five fight win streak right now. Um, three of which have been in one championship as early as two months ago. Shit, he's fought three times already this year. He fought seven months ago, five months ago, and two months ago. Fighting out of Perth, Australia. He is 29 years old as well. Five six, and he has a six in one professional record. The number one ranked, uh, what is it? Flyweights. I know topology always messes it up. They're always like one above or one under. But anyways, uh, he's ranked number one in his weight class in one championship. Again, riding a five fight win streak, three of which have been in one championship. Let me know your thoughts, folks, in the comments of who you think is going to win this one. I want to know. And I know we had some people uh, talking about UFC 280. If you want to get into that conversation as well, just let me know in the live chat. All right. As these fighters prepare to walk out to the octagon... God damn it, I keep saying it. I, I really need like a, I need like a moderator who's like, every time I say Octagon. Because the last few streams I did were like, what was it, Cage Fury, BFL, UFC. So they've, they've all had fucking Octagons. I do have to say though, the Circle Cage in one championship, unbelievable. All right, so it doesn't look like we have Eddie on StreamYard support. StreamYard is the, the tool I use to, to broadcast. We got Evan here. Eddie usually fucks up the stream, as the regulars know. We got Evan here. So Evan here in support, he's like, can you uh can you just turn everything off and go into incognito? I was like, uh, no, I'm literally live, buddy. I need you to uh, help me out here. <laughs> I've only ever had to contact support one other occasion uh, while streaming. Okay, now he's saying, oh my God, this is crazy. He's giving me all these things to do. It's like, dude, I'm live. <laughs> okay. I think... Clean Me would probably win this bout for current match. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Uh, we had a Australian win earlier today, too. He absolutely dominated. So the Aussies are doing good in one championship. Um, all right, we got uh, how many more minutes till this feature prelim? 
Looks like they're doing a little bit of uh a little bit of filler pumping up the uh the, the show coming up here. And it's because these prelims have gone by so fast. I know we're an we're an hour and twenty-three minutes into this. But I mean these more tie bouts have been bang, bang, bang. Unbelievable. I mean, the, the first two, the first two fights on the card done on done in the after the first round. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, let me know your predictions in the live chat, folks. And, and again, shout out to you, Gravedigger. You've been here all day. Same with Brittany. Same with Pink J. Walter, Zoomer Loyalist. Brian. Ethan Tom. Who else is here? Um, blah, 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 blah. Aaron. Osmer. Bum, 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 bum. Sean, of course, with the donos. And Ethan as well. I appreciate it, guys. Soda Pod dropped uh, a hello earlier. So what up, what up, what up? Um, bum, 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 bum. I literally on a caffeine trip. <laughs> I probably didn't have enough caffeine before this stream, to be perfectly honest. Um, I definitely had some this morning, though. <laughs> Me and Britt should be at the fight right now. I know, guys. I'm. S I feel so bad, and I'm so sorry that you don't get to experience that. I know you were looking forward to it. I was looking forward to hear about it, but... There'll be more LFA in, uh, in Wisconsin and Minnesota. There'll be more. I know it. But yeah, I uh, I hope you guys can get back to LFA soon. All right, folks, I highlighted the fighters here. Do you have any more info? Do you want any info? Do you have any more insight, I should say? I want to hear your predictions. Who do you think is winning this next one? I I, I got to go with... I got to go with Mini T. I mean, the guy's on a run. Yeah, a little bit less experience. May not be yet, you know, yet at the level... Of, at a, as a 14 or as a what is he 11 and 4 fighter but 6 and 1 5 in a row he's the favorite the Aussies have been absolutely dominating in mixed martial arts recently I mean shit I'm going with the Aussie I'm going with mini T let me know your predictions in the live chat Uh, keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment driven live stream, as you know. Uh, our live chats are what's so awesome about these streams. I mean, we're building such a great fight community here. You all are amazing. And here we go. Gravedigger giving his prediction here. He's going for Mini T as well, Daniel Williams. Uh, I appreciate you all joining. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. I apologize if the connection goes in and out, if it just goes fuzzy and, and back to back to high def. Having a couple network issues here tonight. This morning it wasn't too bad. Having a few network issues here tonight, but we're hopefully addressing them on this stream, and I promise we'll address them moving forward on the channel. Um, as you know, the regulars of this channel know, nothing but crisp, clean content here. Um, welcome to this fight, companion. Live play-by-play, -play, live reaction, and live interaction with all you amazing folks who are tuning in. We have a giveaway going on right now, and all you have to do to enter is like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. <laughs> no. Um, put it this way. There's a few things, Canadiana, that I'm going to keep with me 
until the day I die in one of those is the CFL, baby. So only BC Lions for this guy. None of that skull purple. None of that Green Bay Packers, green and yellow. Just orange and white, baby. Go BC Lions. <laughs> What's up, Evan? Evan from StreamYard's finally watching. Evan, it's hard for me to like type, type, go and like follow these 10 steps that you give me when I'm doing it live, buddy. I'm trying though. I'm trying. Everyone say hello to Evan from uh, StreamYard. He's just joined the chat. Evan, you might as well like and subscribe since you're here, buddy. Since you're here helping me. <laughs> Evan from StreamYard's in the chat trying to help me, folks. Trying to help me with the, uh, with the quality control on the, on the fly. Look at that. Look at that customer support evan and you know what evan i'm glad that you're here because as the chat knows we had eddie you we had we had your colleague eddie here a couple streams ago and he absolutely fucked us over big time he destroyed the stream so i hope that you can do better than eddie i hope that you can do better work than eddie All right, they're making their walkouts right now. Folks, again, shout out to you all joining. You all are amazing. I appreciate it. It's so funny that Brian commented this. Of course, of course you would. All right. I'm going to share this quickly on social. We'll get right back into it. If you're just viewing right now and if you just stopped in um, and you missed my rundown, I apologize. What we do here on the stream is we run down the fighters before every stream. Before every stream. Before every fight on the stream. I give my prediction and then I want to hear yours. If you're viewing on Twitter, by the way, migrate over to YouTube so you can join our live chat. And again, I appreciate you all joining this evening one on prime video three and what an amazing event it has been thus far the muay thai the mma i mean shoot and we're just getting started ladies and gentlemen we are just getting started don't forget to like the video and drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes straw weight Featured MMA bout against Jer or Jeremy Miado versus Danielle Williams. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Dun, dun, dun. So far, I mean, I I've been really digging one championship. Uh, uh, especially these Amazon Prime cards. Again, it's, it's hard to get up super early to watch they're you know they're big events that are usually broadcasting singapore time you know or uh, way out east whether it's japan singapore malaysia whatever what i love about what they've done with prime is really really diving into the north american market and really showing a lot more of what they do and what separates them from the ufc from 
shoot, from, from any of them, from, from PFL, from Bellator, even Ryzen, they're, they're competing Asian promotion. Going with the Jaguar for the KO. Both of them 29 years old. Three five-minute rounds in this MMA catch weight of 127 pound fight. I do not taste any tea in this Earl Grey IPA. You know, you try to do a good thing for a friend, folks. Went all the way to Salt Spring Island to get Shane, like, this this really tremendous beer, this really unique beer. And all he's doing is complaining about it, to be perfectly honest. I don't know what to tell you, Shane. Dump it down the drain, buddy. Dump it down the drain. I wholeheartedly disagree. I don't know what you're drinking, but uh, all right, I'm just 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 throw it down the drain, then Shane. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> but thank you for joining. Uh, be like Shane, folks. Don't dump the beer I give you down the drain, but uh, like the video and drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. <laughs> oh God, Herb Dean, of course, an MMA bout, the featured prelim. Of course, we're going to be seeing Herb Dean. Still drank it. He didn't like it, but he still drank it. I'm sorry, Shane. All right, folks. Featured prelim round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Live play-by-play, -play, live reaction, and of course, live interaction with all you amazing people here in the live chat. I appreciate it. You are all amazing. One on Prime Video 3. Let's freaking go. Featured prelim, Miado Williams. It's like a little bit of a, a dick kick. Right off the bat, William says he's okay. We are back at it. Let's get it all! Shane, I'm just teasing you, by the way. You don't have to like every beer I give you. It's one of my favorites, though, so... I was hoping you'd like it. He left Miato. Good movement by Williams. But again, in MMA, just because you bounce around doesn't mean you have the best foot, the footwork or best uh, head movement. Although that, oh, and there we go. Miato just tagged Williams twice oh, with a one, two. Left jab and a nice right uppercut. Oh, man. Williams is piecing Miato apart. But Miato on the counter landed with a left hook. Williams had some tremendous. Tremendous fast striking there. Now up against the cage is Miato Williams trying to get the takedown. Clinched up against the cage. The broadcast saying that Miato's grappling is underrated. And Williams on bottom. Miato takes Williams to the ground. Miato in side control. Miato side control, but Williams has his feet up against the cage and is pushing off of it now. Yep, and there it is. Wow, Miato in the modified half guard side control of Williams. Two minutes and 49 seconds left. Full mount by Miato. 
Keep the comments coming, folks. As you know, it's a comment-driven live stream. Williams trying to turn here. He hasn't quite given up his back yet. He's kind of just on his side. But Miato, full mount here. He ate the dick kick. Didn't even flinch. Now that's a stud. Exactly that. Modified half guard side control now. Miato still on top. One minute, 58 seconds left in this first round. By the way, folks, if you need a place to watch this stream, by all means, go and watch it. But uh, just mute it and listen to us here and keep keep vibing in the live chat. But if you need a place to watch a one championship, broadcasting this on their YouTube channel, and then they're switching over to Amazon Prime. And for those outside of North America, there's links in the description of this video for you know your regional broadcasts. Miato. Back up to his feet. Still has Williams in his grasp. But Williams got up, but Miato really desperately trying to take him back down. Center of the circle now. Good job by Williams for getting back up to his feet. And oh, Miato tagged him with the left and then a knee for good measure. He's done. Desperately trying to grab a leg now is Miato. Williams tagged him with a hook and then a knee for good measure. Miato, is, or Williams is so strong. He gets right back to his feet. Miato tags him with the left. Williams desperately clinching up now, pushing Miato against the cage, landing some knees. How is Miato even alive? He's cut up, tagged again with a left hook, right hook. Miato is barely standing right now. Williams is just throwing on him. How is Miato alive? How is Miato? Miato's bleeding now. We'll see from where. How is this guy even standing? Uh, what is global citizen? Why does this sound bad? Global citizen. The, according to Google, it's the global poverty project. I don't fucking know. I had high expectations going in, so that could have also had an effect. You placeboed it, Shane. Yeah, wh where did you hear that Zoom? Did they say that in the broadcast or something? Not for Herb, it is like, <laughs> this ain't done for Herb. Man, kneeing the downed opponents in one is just crazy, man. Are in between rounds now, and man, is Williams banged up. The heavy favorite was Williams, and to be perfectly honest, folks, he did a tremendous job. He did a tremendous job in the opening frames. The opening frame, I should say, of that round. Credit to his opponent, getting the takedown. All right, round two. Let's get it all! It's on the mat as an ad. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even notice. Just shows how much uh how much that marketing works on me, eh, bud? <laughs> Global citizen oh citizen.org. Yeah, I don't I'm not even gonna go to the website. I'm not even <laughs> Dude, the soccer kicks in the face is straight legit killer shit. Dude, it's like uh like pride, like pride FC shit. All right, 30 seconds into this second round. Center of the square. What did I say? Center of the circle. Why did I say square? Well, there we go. I mean, the, the striking of Williams is, is still a threat. It's been on point this whole fight that he's been exchanging, and he hasn't been absolutely rocked or in the bottom. Okay, the global citizen. I see it on the mat now. So it's like a non-for-profit, I think. I just quickly Googled it. 
Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat if you haven't already, folks. Three minutes and 30 seconds left in this second round. Featured fight on the prelims here tonight. One on Prime Video 3. Inside leg kick from Miato. Looks like Williams hasn't landed much. I mean, he had a couple, a couple really nice shots land in the what, opening 30 to 40 seconds here that I called. But other than that, nice inside low kick by Williams. Now outside low kick by Williams. Maybe starting to regain his composure a little bit now. Whereas Miato, not as aggressive as he was in the final minute of that first round. Still in the center of the ring right now are both these fighters. Really throwing some leg kicks and working on the counters. None of those fast combos that we saw a little bit ago. Nice body punch by Williams. We could hear that one through the little speakers of mine. Now they're just kind of being really tactical here. That outside low kick that Williams threw, Miato was just swinging for a counter right after. Two minutes left in the second round. Ooh, nice combo. One, two, and then body kick combo by Williams, and then attacks the outside leg of Miato again. Yeah, the broadcast saying is Miata's very explosive, but I have to agree. Nice left hook. Straight right by Williams. Doesn't land cleanly, though. He's not finding his mark. A couple, couple times he's hit him, but he hasn't tagged Miato to a point where it's really, like, rocked him at all yet in this, in this round. One minute left in the second round, folks. Oh, and there we go. Miata with the counter left hook, and that dropped Williams. Williams right back to his feet, but another left hook, followed by a left, a right. Miata tagged Williams like five times there. Williams desperately looking for a takedown, gets tagged again with the right hook. Thirty seconds left. Oh, man, Miato's just picking him apart. Williams is a dog, though. Wow, end of that second round. This is an exciting one, man. Me, like It's crazy that the underdog, the underdog has come to play, man. Globalson is basically saying, don't be like Andrew Tate, be nice to fuckers. I mean, I, I won't give them my money, I won't sign up, but I can be nice to fuckers. I like being nice to you and Brian and Zoomer Loyalists. <laughs> all right third and final round folks and we'll take a quick break before the main event begins again shout out to everyone joining us i know the connection has been a little shoddy it's been going in and out we're going to continue to try to address that and i know my i mean my scenery here is anything special i know the regulars are used to my nice desk the bonsai tree the whole nine yards uh i just moved i'm living out of boxes i'm setting it up 
the first of many streams here in my new home in Minnesota. Let's get it on! Round three, let's get it on, folks. Let me know who you think is winning this fight. I can't believe that Dan is still standing. Yeah, I mean, that that's the thing. For me, Dan Williams, he's the favorite going in here. I cannot believe he has a granite chin. I cannot believe he's still in this fight. And there we go. Miato drops him again. Miato drops him again. And Herb Dean waves off. Look at the finish it. Hit it all up. The underdog takes it. Brian, cash. Cash that money. <laughs> Wow, tremendous performance. And he faced a little adversity in the beginning where Williams, you know, tested his chin and actually hit him a few times very, very hard. Miato takes him to the ground, wins. And I, I know it's not round by round scoring based in, in one championship as far as, as MMA goes. Dominated that first round. Second round, pieced Williams apart at his own game. Dropped him a few times, cut him, and then in this third round, there it is, straight right, straight, or sorry, straight left, straight right, and then the two hooks, it's over. And Herb Dean, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but Herb Dean with a great stoppage there, he did not need to take any more of a beating. His face looks jacked up. Oh, ouch. He's going to be sore tomorrow. Oh, and look at the emotion. The emotion coming from Miado. Being the underdog, fighting a guy with you know, a five-fight win streak. With the striking that he has. I mean, the display of respect that they're showing each other right now is tremendous, folks. Unbelievable. This is a huge stepping stone in his career indeed. And you can see he's just so grateful, emotional right now. And we're going to hear him in the center of the ring. Keep the comments coming, folks. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. What a performance indeed by Jeremy Miano. Oh, he can he can barely speak. The Jaguar can barely speak. He's on a four fight win streak now. Saying, you know, thank the Lord, thank my wife, thank my family. I mean, this guy's an absolute stud. The underdog outclassed the favorite in the striking department. Yeah, he's just thanking his team, his family. Oh, what a beauty. I love seeing the respect that the uh, that the fighters show each other after like that. And he brought it indeed. Brian, good pick, Brian. Fucking good pick, Brian. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. By the way, Brittany and Brian, I hope you're feeling better today. I know you two weren't were under the are under the weather. Um, you joined me this morning. I know the chat was showing you some love. So uh, I hope I hope you two are feeling better. I hope you're uh Drinking some tea, staying warm. <laughs> or if you're or if you're just killing, you know, what if you're fighting it off with whiskey too, fuck it. I mean, whatever, whatever gets you back to full health so we can go watch some fights together soon. Oh, look at that. He's fired up now saying, I'm ready for the next fight. I'm gonna put on a show for you guys. Unbelievable stuff. All right. You guys excited for the main card? Let me know in the chat if you're excited for the main card. Let me know where we're at as far as likes, too. Again, first goal, 50 likes. We hit 50. We'll, we'll, we'll 
say a hundred for the next goal. We're, we're, we're trying to give away three prizes here tonight, folks, but 50 likes on the video and we give away some city light project merchandise. And if we get to 1200 subscribers on the channel too, we'll give away some merch, but like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. Hell yeah. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. On the other side, we are back for the main card. One on Prime Video 3. I'm excited. I am so fucking excited. I hope you are all excited as well. Quick break. I'm just going to grab another beverage. Happy Friday. Almost done this wine here. I'm going to grab a Minnesota beer. I am going to... Wipe the sweat off my forehead as I'm just so fucking jacked right now. I'm going to drain the main vein, and then we'll be right back for the main card. If you are not in North America, check the description of this video. There's links and information on where you can find this if you cannot find it on Amazon Prime. What up, bro? Thought I check in. Oh, uh, the stream's doing. Sorry, I haven't been here. No worries, buddy. No worries. The stream's been doing okay. It's been doing okay. We got our we got our boy, not Eddie, who's fucked us over before at StreamYard, but we got we got Evan here. We got Evan here trying to help us and make sure the quality is good. For those who are just joining, welcome, welcome. I know, I know the stream just ended on one championships YouTube channel. We're gonna be here all night. We're gonna be here all night. So do not go anywhere. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. We'll be right back. Payne, I hope I can see you again in a little bit, buddy. I know you're watching with your family. That is amazing. But be like Payne. Even if you're just joining for a little bit, drop a comment in the live chat. Say what's up, and we'll see you back in a moment. I mean, the fights have been amazing. And Payne, to be honest, whenever I'm streaming and we have the regulars here, Brian, Gravedigger, yourself, Shane, Zoomer Loyalist. I mean, I, I could go on. We got Aaron's here as well. I mean, whenever the regulars are here, it's an amazing stream. The fights have been good too. Okay, quick break. Two to four minutes on the other side. We'll be right back. Play-by-play, -play, live reaction, interaction, and giveaways here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Don't go anywhere. One on Prime Video 3. We'll be right back.
are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Welcome, everybody. One on Prime Video 3. And we're live here for another Fight Companion. Well, we've been still going. We're two hours into this now. One on Prime Video 3. Welcome, everybody, to this Fight Companion live play-by-play, -play, live interaction with you amazing people in the chat, live reaction. And, of course, we have some giveaways. So like the video and drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. And let's get this show on the road. First bout of the main card, an MMA, MMA bout, which I'm really excited for. There have been some unbelievable fights on this card thus far. Yes, the prelims were awesome. We saw some back-and-forth wars. We saw some knockouts. We saw Herb Dean not actually wanting to kill anybody, which is, yes, which is a... Which is a positive, ladies and gentlemen, which is a positive, let me tell you that. So, welcome to everybody. I apologize for some of the connection issues that we're having throughout this stream. I just moved. I just moved to a new house, so I'm still kind of living in boxes. Really didn't want to miss this event, so jumped on here. Um, all the connection issues will be addressed moving forward. Our boy at StreamYard is trying to get me to do more than I already did here in a set, like, moments ago. Um, so let me know if, there, if there's, if there's any bad connection issues, please, Evan, let me know. And, uh, damn, we'll get this, uh, we'll get this going. So for those who just joined us, welcome. All you have to do to enter our contest and our giveaway throughout this stream is like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. It's as easy as that. We are growing a tremendous fight community here. Uh, on this channel, and we really want you to be a part of it. We have a lot of regulars who join us every week. We have so many new faces that join us every week when we dive into different promotions. And like I said, we just want to kick back, relax, and watch fights all together, talk about them the whole nine yards. I highlight each fighter and, you know, match up before the... Before before they take the center of the ring and throw down. Then I give my prediction. I encourage you all to do so as well. So we'll do that in a second for these first two MMA fighters who are about to take their walk to the circled cage. Before that, I want to remind you folks to like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. That's all you have to do to enter our contest. If we get to 50 likes on the video, we'll give away some City Life Project merchandise to some lucky folks who commented in the live chat. If we get to 1,200 subscribers on the channel, we will also give away some prizes to those in the live chat. And hell, if we hit 100 likes as well, so that's already getting past our first goal. We'll give some more prizes. I, I don't want to hang up the gloves tonight without giving away three prizes. So there you go. All right, back to the comments we go. I feel that announcer jittery surfacing. Yeah, what did he say? He had like 12 cups of coffee. Is that what I heard him say? <laughs> By the way, how do you folks like the one intro where they like show all the fighters and let them walk out? I really dig that. I really dig that. Once again, I feel like it's the end of the world. <laughs> My dude, is one championship getting a big audience in the West? I think it is now because of one. Or sorry, because of Amazon. Because of this deal they had. For the most part, no. I mean, Gravedigger saying, yeah, yeah. For, but I feel like for the MMA fans, for the casuals, no. A lot of the casuals still associate mixed martial arts with the UFC or or now maybe Bellator. Or, or sh I should say PFL because a lot of people who have ESPN now are watching PFL as well since they also have those rights. I will say to, because I have some friends who are like hardcore UFC fans. Hardcore UFC fans who bet on them every weekend. I told him, I was like, hey, you watching one tonight? They're like, what, what the heck is one? I'm like, dude, what the fuck? You don't know what one championship is? So so that's the thing. That's the thing. I think it, a lot of people just don't know what the promotion yet is because the UFC has such a stranglehold on mixed martial arts in this country. Well, just in North America in general. Don't mind me as I adjust my camera a bit. There you go. There you go. Um, appreciate everyone joining us live here as well. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. If you're wondering why I'm like just chilling on some pillows on the ground here, it's because I have a little makeshift studio right now. I just moved. I just packed up my car and moved from the west coast of Canada to the twin cities of Minnesota. So I'm still unpacking. I'm still settling. But I could not miss this weekend of streaming for you guys because one championship back to back as well as UFC.
Gonna be here for the night. At a boy, pen pain. Thank you so much. I got the twelve and O, dude. Yeah, we'll highlight them just in a moment. That's what I want to spread the word out for one championship. You and myself included, Grave Digger. Shout out to all seventy plus of you viewing. By the way, you are all amazing. Don't forget to like the video and drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. I want to send you some City Life merch. And yeah, I, I really want to grow one too. So, so as I was saying to my buddy who watches UFC every weekend, who's going to be watching tomorrow, I was telling him, I'm like, bro, like, are you watching one tonight? He's like, oh, I'm watching Pelicans basketball. He's in New Orleans. And I was like, man, you got to watch one championship tonight. He's like, what is it? I'm like, it was the fucking league that Demetrius Johnson was traded to. Ben Askren had belts there. Brandon Vera's killing it there. Like, it's the, it's the promotion that has Muay Thai, submission grappling kickboxing and mixed martial arts he's like no fucking way and another thing another reason why i think the west will really like it as well is because a lot of people out here don't understand jujitsu well if you're watching a card that you know 12 fights out of the card aren't just mma you're gonna see a lot more striking like we did with the muay thai like we did with the kickboxing yes there'll be one submission grappling match or that can be when they drain the main vein and go get their beers you can be one to advertise in the West, my dude. JC, I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. I'm telling my friends. I'm telling everybody. All right, here we go. Tail of the tape. 29 years old for Kim J. Wung. Shamil Gazanov, 27. 5'8 for Kim. 5'7 for Gazanov. 154 for Kim. 155 for Gazanov. Gazanov has 68-inch reach advantage. Kim was 72, so quite a bit of reach advantage according to the one championship broadcast hell yeah says aaron <laughs> i love the announcer doing his best bruce buffer impression with the suit and everything right Yo, what's up, buddy? What is up? I'm on Central Time, Matthew. <laughs> um, and I think I might even have... No, I don't have a cream ale in the fridge because you still owe me some. How's it going, Matthew? Thank you so much for joining, buddy. All right, let me know your predictions, folks, in the live chat. I want to know. I might go for the Cobra. Fuck, I'll buy you some soon when we go out drinking. Hell yeah, buddy. I can't wait. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm pumped. Uh, Matthew, I'm going to my first Gophers game tomorrow. Um. Okay, sorry. I haven't looked up this... Uh... Okay, we'll get into a little bit more with the fighters at the end of this first round. Sorry, I didn't uh, get in get into them a little bit more here. Round one, let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right, live play by play, live reaction, live interaction with all you amazing folks. So, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and here we go. Kim, the number two ranked fighter in his division against Gazanov. Yeah, against uh, the Sioux, North Dakota. Center of the cage. Again, live play-by-play, -play, live reaction, live interaction with all you folks. So keep the comments coming. I absolutely love it. Who am I going to pick for this one? Who am I going to pick for this one? I'm going Gazanov, 12-0. and 0. If you got an awe at the end of the name, chances are you're legit. <laughs> Is it actually Yakuza Inc. or is it just like Japanese? Or I guess he's Korean, so is it just Korean art? 
Nice leg kick by Kim. Drink Apple Crown of the Ball tonight. Are these on Prime? Yes, it's on Prime. So fire it up, buddy. The main card just started. We just wrapped up the prelims about 20 minutes ago. I don't think we got Apple Crown here, but I do think we got some Crown Royal. Outside leg kick by Gazanov. Gazanov now going for the takedown. Gazanov in the second round. That's your prediction. Let me know what your prediction is, folks, if you're watching this live. Gazanov gets the back of Kim and now slams him to the ground. Great. Takedown by Gazanov. But Kim right back to his feet. But Gazanov has one of his legs hooked. Has his torso hooked. And he's looking to drag him back to the ground. Dude, JC, 100%, buddy. 100%. Great takedown by Gazanov. Has the back. He has the hooks in. He's got, does he have the body triangle? Nope, just has the hooks in right now. Gazanov on the back of Kim. Takes him to the ground. He's got the choke. He's got the choke. He's got the rear naked. Look at the finish it. And it's all over. It is all over, baby. Oh. Oh. Jumps up on the ring, points at his, what time is it? What time is it? And then does the, give me the belt. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Destroyed the number two ranked Jae Woon Kim. I didn't even have time to run down the fighters. Holy moly, this guy is for real. Like I said, you got an of in the back, in the, at the end of your name, at the back end of your last name. That's who I'm picking in the betting lines. Let's freaking go. Beautiful, beautiful Sambo. Also found out I'm going to one of the reverse retro games. That's awesome, man. I have the, rever the reverse retro jersey, like their last one they did. No name, though. No name. And I'm 1-0. Shout out to you, Payne. Hey, Shane, are you still here, buddy? I might have pissed off Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Choked out one of the second ranked fighters. Gazanov ragdolled him. He did indeed. Wow. Wow. Completely dominant, indeed. Unbelievable. We're going to listen to him in the center of the ring. And improves his record to 13-0 now. He was the minus 400 favorite. I get it. Wow. All right, while he's being interviewed here, um, I mean, let's let's do both of the fighters some justice as I didn't, didn't have enough time um, to highlight them. Full disclosure, folks, I always want to address your comments. You you guys are the stars of the show, so I'm always going to read the comments. I also got our boy Evan, hi Evan, uh, in StreamYard chat that I'm also talking to to try to make sure that everything is going as smooth as we can for this stream as I know we're facing some uh, connection issues. So just so you guys know that, that was the reason why I just didn't have literally the, the time to uh, to highlight them. So we'll do that quickly right now. So uh, unfortunately, Jae Woon Kim lost that one. He's fighting out of South Korea. Uh, now 12 wins, seven losses at eight wins by KO, TKO, one submission, three decisions. So striker versus grapplers matchup. Um, he's been in one championship for a while now. One, two, three, four, five fights where he is three and, or sorry, six, six fights now where he is now three and three in the promotion. Now we looked at Samil Gazanov. We absolutely destroyed him. The Cobra. Now, the Cobra has three amateur fights, so he's not exactly four, or what was he on Sure Dog? Um, blah, 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 blah. He's not exactly 12 and 0. Professionally, he's now 9 and 0. 27 years old, seven submissions, two decisions. I mean, pfft, from Dagestan, <laughs> I, I don't really have much else to say. That's what you do when you're from Dagestan. You samble the fuck out of your opponent and you choke them. This was his one championship debut as he's fought in Pro FC, FNG, BFC, and Legion fights. Three fights on the regional scene, like I said.
Bum, ba -dum, ba -ba. I'll get right back to the comments in a sec, folks. Keep the comments coming. It's a comment-driven live stream. You all are amazing. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat if you haven't already. Wow. <laughs> Shamil doing the, the Cobra Kai. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yep, Gravedigger, he's 1-0 as well. By the way, Clint Me, the one who was fighting later in the Muay Thai, slid into one's DM to get a fight and look at him now fighting for a world championship. Is that what happened? He, he, he slid into one championship's DMs to get a fight? And now, JC, I don't know that story, brother. I don't know that story. Continue to tell, the, tell our chat that story. That's tremendous. Uh, if I'm getting a reverse retro jersey, it's going to be boldy. Damn right, it's going to be boldy. Um, I don't know who I'd get. I'm I'm always so scared to get a name because I feel like they're just going to be instantly traded, which I guess is kind of the fun part about it. But even Canucks, I don't even have a name on any of my Canucks jerseys. I almost got Kessler, but then... I don't know. Didn't really end well there. So maybe someday I'll get both the Sedins and like frame them or something. Uh, let's go, Penn Cesarean, with a little bit of hockey talk here. Um, bah, 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 bah. Hoppy is 100% getting Addison. He already has it. He already has Addison and Rem Pitlick and Marco Rossi. But Marco Rossi has the Ottawa 67s version. All right. I'm going to change the next fight here on screen. Second fight of the main card. I mean, the first fight of the main card was a... I mean, Shamil made quick work work of his opponent, I was going to say. It was an exciting fight, but I mean, it wasn't that exciting, but it was fun. It was fun nonetheless. Oh, kickboxing next? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, since I don't have too much info on these guys, since it's a kickboxing bout next. Uh, um, I don't have to get too in-depth on them, but I will say a little bit about them based on what Tapology has at my disposal. Crushed the Kings the other night. Hell yeah, buddy. Um, I, I'm like I'm not a huge Pens fan, per se, because I grew up loving Ovechkin and the Capitals, but because Aaron's a huge supporter, because my co-host of my podcast is a Pens fan, I mean, and Sidney Crosby's on the team. Evgeny Malkin. I mean, I can't hate them. I can't hate them. So does one have multiple styles? Yeah, so one championship will show kickboxing, Muay Thai. So kickboxing, but with smaller gloves and no clinching or takedowns, like throwdowns, um, as well as submission grappling and MMA. Mostly MMA. So if we have, say, like 12 fights on the card, I'd say probably six to seven of them will be MMA. Then they'll, like, sprinkle in kickboxing muay thai and now one submission grappling match at least on one of the big cards so earlier today actually the main event of the earlier today i, I did uh, an earlier stream for one championship 161 or 162's event and that one the main card was a kickboxing match not muay thai kickboxing with big gloves so yes to answer your question and that's why i love it because it's 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 for everyone, and for and I said this before for the North American audience who's not super into jujitsu or this the grappling part of mixed martial arts, and we see it a lot in the UFC. I mean, Colby Covington's game is that. That's why a lot of people who are not diehards of the sport and could recognize, you know, just how good he is off the bat. 
And after watching a ton of his fights, I mean, one is for you because you're going to see violence. Sure, you're going to see one submission grappling match, but you're going to see violence overall. Just keep moving east. <laughs> yeah, and eventually I'll just be in Singapore. Uh, request the Western audiences in the comment section. Spread one championship like wildfire. Exactly that. Do it. All right. We have... Who do we have here next? Bum, 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 bum. We got Sidiche Sitong Piong against Mohamed Butasa. Mohamed Too Sharp Butasa. Uh, he's out of the Netherlands, 23 years old, six feet tall, against a veteran in the kickboxing game out of Thailand, 31 year old Sitiche Sitong Piong. That's not bad, not bad, eh, for a first pronunciation. But yes, JC, comment of the night, baby. Let's fucking go. Gophers won. Faber with an apple. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I hope they sweep them this weekend. I hope I hope that means they don't sit back and relax a little too much tomorrow. Because I'm going to Mariucci tomorrow. And I'm fucking pumped. I probably go for two sharp. Yeah. I'm going with the younger guy here as well for this one. Limited knowledge, that's my prediction. We're throwing them out there for fun. By the way, shout out to everyone joining us in the live chat. You are all amazing. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Uh, now, you know, the more one championship stuff we do, the more I'm going to have to like really do my research beforehand on the Muay Thai, on the kickboxer. Because every now and then, like, Wikipedia will have it, and I can easily get their record. But some of these guys are very much off the regional scene in Asia, and one championship, they scout them, they give them a chance. You know what's awesome about this card, too? Not only... Not only were there prelims on this card, there's going to be postlims. There's two fights after the main event, I believe, back on YouTube. But yes, Gravedigger, lock it in, buddy. I'm going with that one, too. Um, bum, 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 bum. All right, they're making their walkouts right now. Folks, are you excited for USC 280 tomorrow? I'll be streaming that as well. My bad, I meant the killer kid. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Doing God's work. Doing God's work. All right, so Evan now in the StreamYard chat. Apparently, Evan, everybody in the chat, say, what the fuck, Evan? I mean, Evan, come on, buddy. We asked you for help. I feel like Evan's just making the stream worse now. He's sending me paragraphs to read. Hey, just read this guide and perform this test live on your stream. <laughs> buddy, I mean, these... These 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 kickboxers are making their walkouts, Evan. Come on. All right, making their walkouts to the ring now. And I love some of these kickboxing getups, dude. They're so sick. Payne's going with the veteran from Thailand. I dig it. I dig it. 
All right, just watching them walk out now. <laughs> Some of their get-ups, man. I love Muay Thai shorts, by the way. All right, making their still making their walkouts here, folks. Keep the comments coming, by the way. It's a comment driven live stream. So like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. Oh, look at this. Man, look at his shorts. <laughs> it's just it's just crazy how how fucking flamboyant and gorgeous some of them are, man. It's so it's so crazy. I love it. I love it. It gives fighters especially in the kickboxing realm, you know, a little bit of a well, swagger, of course, but uniqueness, right? They get to customize their kits like back in the day. No, not yet, JC. They're still making their walkouts. This has been like the longest dragged out walk walkout ever. This straight up is the longest walkout. I'm sorry if I'm boring you folks. I'm also fucking Evan, the lives part. He's just as bad as Eddie. He just, he wants me to, he literally told me, can you go unplug this, this? I'm like, dude, no. Like, let me know. Is there troubleshooting I can do or not? Anyways, for the regulars, you know, you know my relationship with the provider uh, I use to do these streams. It's not a good one. It's not a good relationship. They just want me to fail. But you know what, Evan, at StreamYard? We're not going to fail. You want me to pull the plug on the stream? I'm not going to pull the plug on this stream. All right, second dude is about to enter the ring. All right, I'm going to take just a quick break here, folks. I'm going to just take a quick break, literally two seconds here. <laughs> Grab some water because this is taking so freaking long. Long, oh, never mind. You know, I'm not going to take a break because we're here. We're here and they're finally going to start. <laughs> <laughs> this was the longest ring walk since the Debella last night. Dude, I know. But that one was like a... That one was a main event, right? So I understand that one being dragged, but this one was freaking long. But all right. 
Keep on keeping on, man. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, being announced in the center of the octagon now. Mohammed Two Sharp Butasa. 15 and 0 kickboxing record up against the veteran, like we said. Bro, speaking of Debella, it was a great match with Zhang. Dude, it was. And like it was close right until the end. And then Debella, boom. Shin to chin. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. <laughs> Satachi, number four, ranked against Butasa. Kicked by Butasa. A straight right jab by Sidicha. Exchanging some kicks now are both of these fighters. Good kick again by Butasa. Nice head kick by Satacha. What's up, Liam? Thank you so much for joining, brother. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Sidicha is walking forward, though he's shorter than his opponent, Butasa. He's got the power. He's got the experience. One minute and 30 seconds left in this opening round. Three three-minute rounds, folks, in this kickboxing match. One championship on Amazon Prime. And four it is. Sidichai and some good counters by Butaza. Some good combos. A one, two, and an uppercut. Clinched up here. Official separates them. 30 seconds left. Nice leg kick by Sidichai. And then a right hook that seemingly landed pretty hard. Butaza, though, he's young and not super phased. Walking forward with some heavy knees is... Butasa. Liam, I hope you're having a good weekend, by the way, brother. All right, end of the first round here.
I'm just looking at some of the replays here, folks. My apologies. I'm just, I'm really just trying to fix some of these connection issues. This Evan guy keeps sending me a paragraph. Please read this. Please read this. Evan, I'm fucking streaming right now, bro. I'm trying to call a fight, but I know it's going to help the stream. So I'm trying to do this for you guys. Again, I apologize for the new viewers who come here. Usually like we don't have any issues. We're totally professional. It's, it's, it's really a bummer that it's happening on this stream. And you know what? I blame Evan from StreamYard. <laughs> All right, round two. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Oh, and some early strong body kicks and then a switch kick. I said, I said, Ache. You're the state, or how are the states treating you? Pretty good, buddy. Pretty good thus far. The internet's kind of sucks, but that's okay. <laughs> and there we go, a knockdown. Butasa knocks down Sedechi. What's going on, buddy? Appreciate you. How's it going? Nice left hook. They're just trading. They're both just trading hooks here. Nice body kick by Butasa. That one, I think, just. Knocked him down. Butas is coming in for the kill here. He runs in. He's pushing Sedaiche up against the cage. Pressuring him now. Uppercuts and knees. There's just a lot of pressure. The technique is kind of thrown out the window right now as Butas is just going for this win. Trying to extend his fight win streak to 16-0. and 0. He can't drain the, ga the gas tank too much here, but he's confident. I'll get back to the rest of the comments here in a sec here, folks. I just got my eyes locked on this fight, especially these kickboxing and Muay Thai ones. Short rounds, a lot of action. You know I get back to the comments, but I really want to focus on this and give some play-by-play -play to those who cannot watch. Breaking again, one minute left in the second round. Vasco, we're trying, buddy. We're trying. I know Vasco, you missed it. I've been working with a, a guy on support. He's literally on standby right now, but doing a few things here at once. Want to call the fights, want to interact with you, and also want to help the stream out. We've been going in and out of connection issues all night. We're trying here, buddy. We've done everything right on our end, so. Oh, and a nice right hook counter. 30 seconds left in the second round. Yeah, Sidichai in the first half of this round was getting absolutely tagged, absolutely pieced up. He came back strong in the second round. And I said it. I said it. Muhammad might have uh might have drained the gas tank there. He's young though. Maybe a little break here will will help him. But that was a crazy second round. What a crazy fight, folks. What a crazy fight. All right, listening into the broadcast to see how they scored those first two. Yeah, it's annoying because the my camera is it, it's been going in and out all night, and then now it's just been kind of stuck on this connection after trying to fix it with the uh, with the support here. So everything on my end is good. High apology. My apologies. Um, let me get back to the comments here. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, we're just happy you're streaming. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I just feel bad, man. And, you know, I'm a perfectionist too. And I want to put on a good product. And I hate when, you know, connection issues, when I do everything correctly here, um, you know, are seemingly, seemingly bad. I did a bunch of internet tests before the stream. Everything was good. But anyways, we're going to keep riding. Let's get it all. We're going to keep, we're going to keep trying to fix it on the fly. And I'm going to keep calling these fights. Evan wants to bring me down in StreamYard. 
Evan and Eddie and StreamYard want to bring us down. We're going to stay here. And, oh, taking his legs out was Sedache on Butasi. Butasi just come out still with this big energy and he got tagged. Sedache knocked down Butasa. Butasa went for the leg kick and Sedache caught him. Sedache with a knee and a left hook. Sidichai now has Butasa up against the cage. Two body shots, uppercut, overhand right, clinched up now. Is Butasa going to suffer his first loss of the night? Knocked down again was Butasa, still getting back up though. Two minutes left in this third round. Uppercut by Sidache, followed by a left hook. Man, I honestly think Butasa just went a little ham in that second round and drained his gas tank. And then now getting rocked a little bit, there's, it's just hard to come back even at the young age of, what is he, like 23, 24? 20, yeah, 23. Nice straight left by Sadache. Another body kick by Butasa. That hasn't been working out for him because Sadache has just been catching that and or finding his openings on the counter. Sidichai still just walking forward. Center of the ring. Butasa throws a head kick. One minute and 18 seconds left. I see your comments. I'll get back to them in a sec, guys. I just really want to watch this fight. Oh, man. Sidichai is just landing, man. Oh, and now Butasa knocks down Sidichai. Jumping switch kick by Butasa lands on the body of Sidichai, but now these guys are just, they're just throwing. They're just throwing. Butasa's back up against the cage a bit. This is just an incredible fight. An incredible fight. Stand up one championship. And there we have it. of the fight it went the distance it went the distance this is amazing um i'm gonna do a i'm gonna like refresh everything here we'll take a break and hopefully that fixes the connection i've been literally guys and i know it shows compared to some of the other streams that like my attention's not all on you all, this whole time and not on the fight it's because i've been like talking to support here supposedly giving me all these troubleshooting things and it's just made the fucking thing worse so i'm gonna go back to what i know best because uh screw you evan and eddie at uh i guess evan was really nice to me i shouldn't say that but eddie's the worst evan was really nice to me but he didn't do anything to help he just said oh yeah your connection sucks it's like okay buddy thank you but anyways that's the last i'm gonna dive into it i apologize for the connection it's been going in and out all evening i'm gonna try to fix it again after in between this next fight but let's see who won this one unanimous decision to city chai and you know what well deserved win i think the first round he probably lost the second and third uh, you know what? The first round he probably lost halfway through the second. It's questionable. Um, first loss of Butasa's professional kickboxing career, but you got to give it to the veteran here. He was the better fighter here this evening. Uh, going good, but I'm very excited for something that might happen soon. Isn't Muay Thai pretty aggressive? Well, this is kick boxing muay thai is uh is is this with with no with less clinching and less um like sweep kicks like takedowns and it's with mma gloves so smaller gloves
Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get back with these comments, folks. I just closed the support window. It ain't happening. <laughs> Can't wait to the Vancouver Canucks. Very first win of the NHL season. Their current record is 0-3-2. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. As long as I can hear it, it's okay. I appreciate it. Dude, Sidiche was on fire. Well-deserved win. Uh, the 0-3-2 Vancouver Canucks are going to win versus the 3-1 Buffalo Sabres in Vancouver. Hopefully, they can finally win. Carson Lambos has three apples after the first. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Clark Steve Gilligan, I apologize if the for the connect. I apologize for the connection issues. If you're new to the channel, usually we're crisp and clean here. But to welcome, thank you for commenting. You're automatically entered into winning some prizes. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes, folks. Great bout from both fighters. Who won? Hard to judge. I think you did. You see who won? Uh, JC. It was Sidichai. What an amazing fight. Your boy Payne is 2-0, baby. Yeah, I'm 1-1. One one. I'm 1-1 one one on the main card, that is. Yeah, Grave Digger and Payne. You guys, you guys got some synergy there. I know this kickboxing, but I have the hockey updates covered when I get on the stream. I know you do, and that's why we freaking love you here. You're like our, our hockey update community member on the on our fight community here and you're and you're here watching fights too and you know what you defended me look at that you're an absolute beauty of course we have a give giveaway 50 likes on the video 1200 subscribers those are two of the goals so if we hit either of those two goals we'll do a giveaway and if we hit 50 before the stream ends then we'll rate we'll do another goal and we'll try to hit 100 too so three opportunities to win today well, people think that was a robbery. I don't think so. I think that third round was so dominant. And the second round could have gone halfway. So if it's a 10-must scoring system, then pure domination in that third round, more knockdowns, more damage done. I don't think it was a robbery like what we saw earlier today with that Ballarat guy or whatever. We have 50 likes already? No shit. No shit. Let's fucking go. Despite having connection issues, we got this sucker to 50 likes. We will give away a piece of City Light Project merchandise to one lucky commenter in the live chat. So that means let's raise the bar. We have a few more fights. Let's raise the bar. If we get to 100 likes on the channel or on this video and or 1,200 subscribers on the channel, we'll give away two more prizes. This one I'm very excited for, folks. Our first submission grappling match of the night. We saw Mikey Musumeci win the respected, what was it, the 135-pound belt on uh, Prime Video, or was it one on Prime Video 2? We have our next BJJ match here coming up. Given an NHL team... And a stat and you want, and you know I will figure it out and tell you guys. There you go, folks. Stanley Cup champs here. He is your NHL stat guy. He's the stat man. Maybe that's what I do with the reverse retro jersey. Get a number 71 Carson Lambos. <laughs> that would be sick. That would be sick. WHL stud Carson Lambos. Ayo. Let's go, says Aaron. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm just pumped. We hit 50 likes despite me. I mean, I feel it's not even that I'm like, oh, StreamYard messed up my stream or my connection is not bad. I just want to put on the best show slash stream for, for all you guys. That's what it's really about. And when the connection's bad, when I'm like distracted on support, I just feel like I'm not giving you folks my full attention. I'm not giving the fights my full attention. That's when... This, that's what this is all about is like us hanging out, watching sports together, watching fights together, um, interacting. So my apologies. I did everything I could with the support. Shout out to you, Evan. I mean, Evan was actually a really nice guy. Unlike Eddie, the last guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a couple more things here in a little bit. I'm just going to refresh the page and if, if we're good, we're good. If not, we're just going to keep riding like this. And I apologize. We will address it for the next stream. Congrats on a thousand subs. Well deserved. Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank you so hey, that much. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Uh, it was quite the grind. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy to hit 1,000. And Kyle and I are happy to keep growing this. You know, we want to double it by, uh, by next summer. 
So there you go. Uh, I got the 19-year-old in the grappling match. By the way, we're going to talk about this kid in a sec. He's an absolute stud. Dario says it was a robbery. Okay, fair enough. The, the What was the fight earlier today? I was tweeting about it, by the way. You can follow me on Twitter, at VI Sports Talk. The 40-year-old fought the 35-year-old in... Um, was it kickboxing or MMA? Oh, no, it was MMA. And the 40-year-old absolutely dominated him. The guy didn't even get a takedown on him. He beat the fuck out of the 35-year-old. The 35-year-old won. Split decision. I couldn't believe it. In one, they judge the entire fight instead of the round by round. Yes, Shane, but in kickboxing, they do round by round. 10-point must system. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's how I, I was looking it up earlier today. Um, hey, did you bring my merch to Minnesota? Yes, I did. Zev, let's get it. Hey, I'm going to keep on going if you can. I'm going to keep on going, brother. Uh, you will double it by Christmas. Calling it now. That would be amazing. I feel like I'm going to go 5-0 and tonight. 2-0 right now. I hope you do, Payne. I hope you do, brother. Uh, honestly, Shane, it was the least of my worries today. So, no. And uh, given how this stream is gone, you can probably see why. I don't even, I don't even have the, the little paper where it tells me what, what's what. But keep, keep reminding me, Shane, and I'll get it. I promise, dude. I promise. <laughs> Uh, I got Andrade in the main fight. Yes, vote in our poll question too, folks. And like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. We already hit our first goal of 50 <laughs> likes. You all are amazing. I still uh, got to get Shane your merch too, so remind me on that too. Shane was one of our prize winners. It's funny, Shane, I downloaded it. I had it. I have a, like a folder that's like stream stuff, and I just didn't have time to take out my USB today or my um, SD card today and add everything to it because I wanted to... I was literally testing all the internet stuff before anyways. I don't know. I'm not going to keep pitching about StreamYard, but there you go, Shane. Uh, no, but it's coming, and I promise. But just, just rip me for it, even in our, you know, in our DMs. Text me, just be like, what the fuck? Yes, Gustavo Ballart. I'm sorry, JC, he did not win that fight. He, he It should have been unanimous for his opponent, Silva, right? Silva beat him up. Beat him up for three rounds. I don't know what the judges were scoring. Fine, but what? Two takedown attempts? The rest of the time, Silva pulled guard and actually like got him in submission attempts. I, I, I do not think it was even close. If you want to give him one round, sure. I, I know it's not round by round in one, and maybe that affects it. But like I've, I rewatched the fight twice, and I was like, how the fuck did this guy win? He didn't win by fighting his opponent then. He won because apparently in one championship, takedown defense is valued more than strikes or submission. I don't know. It was It's tough. Okay, I'm going to get right back to the comments in a sec, folks. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to take a quick... Uh, I'm going to take a pee. I'm going to drain the main vein. I'm going to grab a beverage. Again, shout out to you all. We made it to 50 likes already, despite you know some of the challenges we had in this stream. You all are amazing. Keep the comments coming. If we get to 100 likes, we'll give away another prize. So we are, we are already giving away a prize to one of you folks in the live chat at the end of the stream. I want to give away another one. So please like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and, uh, and let's keep those likes humming. All right. On the other side, we will be back. Cade Rutolo, Urali Kruzev in the lightweight submission grappling world championship bout on the other side. We're going to get into it. The first and only submission grappling match on this card here tonight. We saw Musa Mechi win the belt last event. Let's get into it. Keep the comments coming. Like, subscribe, comment in the live chat. I love hanging out with you folks. For those who've stuck by me despite the connection issues, you all, you are all amazing. I love every single one of you. Quick break. I'm going to grab a drink. I'm going to drain the main vein, and we'll be right back for the first submission grappling match on the card. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel.
And we are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. What is going on, everybody? We are back for our first submission grappling match of the evening. The Rutolo brothers, by the way, are the real deal. As he's making his walkout, you probably heard a little bit about him. Youngest ADCC champion, 19 years old, up against a 33-year-old from Russia. Very different styles, that dominant Sambo style grappling versus the Brazilian traditional Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I mean, this one's going to be awesome. This one is going to be awesome, folks. Oh. Uh, I changed the resolution a bit. I don't know if that's going to help the uh, <laughs> the connection at all. It doesn't seem like it's helping at all, so fuck it. All right, they're being announced in the center of the ring. And appreciate you all joining us here. Again, we'll get the connection issues fixed for, for next time. They've been in and out all night. We were doing our best to address them. Just seems like it's a bad night. Just seems like it's a bad night. Doesn't matter how much testing you do ahead of time. Sometimes, sometimes it's just not your night. But again, I appreciate everybody in the comments here. You are all amazing. Again, we already hit our goal of 50 likes on the video. So shout out to you folks. All right. Bum, 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 bum. What did I miss here? Oh, asking Stanley Cup, Stanley Cup champs on cider. The Minnesota Wild goaltender is the meme. Sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be shit. <laughs> Blur's quick little bastard took that win and run as fast as he can. <laughs> Rutolo for the win. Look. I'm BJJ over Sambo. I go Charles Oliveira tomorrow night against Makachev, so I'm going Rotolo as well. I'm changing my pick to Cade. Go America. <laughs> Three minutes are left. Yeah, I mean, Cade says he'd rather lose an exciting submission match um, than win a boring one. So this one should be exciting here right off the bat, and it's for a championship belt. In one championship, I think striking and takedown defense are like a big point. And since Bilar was good at the striking along with the takedown defense, maybe that's why he wasn't good in the striking, though. That's what I'm saying. He he threw overhand rights and missed 80% of the time. I, I, I rewatched the fight twice, and I just got more pissed. Silva was for 40 years old. All right, round. Well, I guess there's only one round, so fight. Let's go. Let's get it all. So 10 minutes here, and how it's scored is who is more aggressive. And right now, the Sambo man from Russia is ragdolling Rutolo. Again, Rutolo. IJB, or I was it? IJBBF, an ADCC champion. Rutolo grabs his back, though. Great roll. Kurzev is aggressive as hell, man. And again, the young kid versus the veteran in, in submission grappling. Good job by Rotolo, though. Took down. Kurzev and still has his back. Has one hook in. Still on his back is Rotolo. So if it goes the first, the full 10 minutes, like the broadcast said, whoever has the most submission attempts, whoever is more aggressive in their submission attempts by the end of this will win the fight. Rutolo's the right hand of Cade. He had his back, but he's kind of twerking towards the side. You're maybe looking for that arm bar. Still has his back as Rutolo. Trying to set something up here. I don't think... I mean, maybe the neck? He's he's slowly digging it in right now. I was going to say, was it because, is it that easy? And by the way, the beer that I got for all those in the Midwest, the good old fucking hams, baby. Oh, yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
the taste of Minnesota. Or the Midwest. I don't actually know if it's brewed just in Minnesota. Thank you for joining, brother. Oh, arm triangle by Rutolo. Kurzev is trying to peel the hand off the head. That's what he's using for leverage, and he does a good job of getting that hand freed. Rutolo, though, still just sticking to Kurzev's back like glue. He's got one hook in for the choke. Not under the arm. It's just on the chin. Rutolo, though, going for the rear naked. He's on the back of Kurzev. And now he's sinking that in and he's squeezing. Seven minutes left in the match. Not quite under the chin, though. And Rutolo pulls Kurzev back and it looked more like a takedown. Kurzev's now in top position in the guard of Rutolo. Rutolo tried to go for an arm. Now went to grab an ankle. Kurzev goes for a little jog. Don't listen to him. Again, shout out Adnan. Appreciate you joining, brother. Man, I love one's submission grappling. I have to say, I really do. I hate how in ADCC you like you wait. You like, you, yeah, their rules are a little weird. Entertaining, but this is where it's at. Ten minutes. Try to submit the guy. Whoever tries to submit the guy more wins. Tried to pull guard again was Rotolo. And aggressive. Kurzev, like, he's not cheap. He's just, he's aggressive. He's, like, slapping without slapping, right? Whereas Rotolo is very much that jujitsu way. That jujitsu way. Um, I don't think he wants to. Like, they're becoming famous in their, in their world, the brothers. There's, there's a few of them. Oh, going for the heel hook. It depends, buddy. It depends how much they win. Oh, heel hook. And that's it. Hot that's it. Hot oh! USA, USA. Cade Rotolo does what Mikey Musumeci couldn't do in his one championship on Prime Video Championship match. Mikey Musumeci did submit his first opponent in one championship, but that wasn't for the belt. For the belt. 19 years old. Getting slapped around. By Kurzev at times. And that was a beautiful heel hook. Grabs it there. Twerks, twerks, twerks. And done. Done. Lifts up and it's over. You can see. Beautiful win. You know, he faced a little adversity in that too, which is, you know, what you want to see from a guy who's just growing. But the youngest ADCC world champion. Wow. that I tip my cap to you, Cade. Youngest ADCC world champion. Now he's the one champion. Lightweight champion in his division. Chachri. The uh, the president of one championship here to present the belt, and I'm three and oh, baby. USA, USA, USA. Yeah, Gravedigger's three and oh, too. And new lightweight submission grappling champion of the world. Fireworks going off. We got fights ahead of us. And we got the first championship fight on this card. Rotolo out of San Diego. 19 years old. We're going to see so much more of this guy in the future, folks. Oh, and yeah, he won ADCC... Uh, just over a month ago, I watched it. So that's, if jujitsu has some rules that help it kind of speed up the aggression, again, like what one championship does for everything, I cannot imagine why North Americans won't want to watch that.
Well, he has some swagger too. Do you hear that? He's like, oh, I knew, I knew I had it right when I saw his heel pop out. He's like, I had it. Stud an absolute monster. Yeah, and he, like I said, he was ragdolling him very much. And what was so cool about this is this, this was truly Sambo against Jiu-Jitsu. You could see the, the aggression, the string, that just that Sambo style against a very flowy jiu-jitsu style, which, man, no gi jiu-jitsu. As much as I appreciate the gi, don't get me wrong, and I do watch a lot of jiu-jitsu with the gi, because it is its own game, too, with the, with, with, the gra- with the grappling, with the grabbing, grappling and the grappling of the gi. Again, I apologize about the connection, folks. Hopefully it goes in and out throughout the evening. We'll address it moving forward. Um, but I appreciate all you who've uh, who stuck by us and uh, stuck by this stream regardless. Oh, that's cool. If you guys are watching the broadcast, uh, Rodolo saying him and his brother are building a gym. Building a gym. They're putting a lot into it. I mean, his brother his brother's there with him. I mean, man, these guys are going to be absolute studs. Can't beat the hair. No. Not at all. Man, why not on like... Amazon on one six or or five, you know, in two three months, let him let him recover a bit. I mean, he's nineteen. Let him recover a bit. Like, bring him back on. Oh, I can't wait to see him back on one again. I'm starting to think one is going to do DJ versus Mikey. Uh, I I I listened to Chael Sonnen talk about that recently, and I think it was smart for Mikey to do that, but like. I don't think DJ, in my respectful opinion, shouldn't waste his time doing things like that right now. Demetrius Johnson, he's he's not getting any younger. Demetrius Johnson has to keep fighting at the highest level and using his training camps and everything, basically all his energy that he can outside of being the family man that he is. He has to keep it. He has to keep it focused on that. And I think maybe when he like loses the belt, JC, like for real this time, and maybe starts to decline a bit and starts doing more of like, you know, the, and I know he did this already. So, but does more of like the, the hybrid fights against like Rotang or some of the other uh, Muay Thai guys. And I think at that stage, it's smart for him to keep competing, you know, because what is he 36 now? 37? Like he's getting up there. I could be off a year or two. But anyways, as he approaches 40, as he declines a bit, I think that's when we see him do his, the submission grappling. Would I be okay with watching it? Absolutely. But I don't think it even should be for the belt. It would probably have to be, I guess they're like the same weight. I, don't, I just don't want to see them put themselves through hell cutting weight or whatever to make that match when Demetrius Johnson needs to keep being Demetrius Johnson. And by the way, for those who don't know, for you Americans right now in this chat who don't know, Demetrius Johnson is hes the greatest American MMA fighter of all time. And you cannot tell me otherwise. Look at his record. I don't care if he was in a division that wasn't popular at that time. I don't care if he's not John Jones and just is not like, I don't care if he doesn't have the name value of a Conor McGregor. You look at his record. You look at what he's done in the UFC, outside of the UFC. He is the greatest American MMA fighter of all time. I don't even think that's a hot take. Um, I think he did. What's cool about one as well, as it's not just Dana White giving like one or two, like whatever it is, knockout of the night, uh fight of the night. There's like there's a limited amount of UFC bonuses that he can give out. I'm pretty sure in one championship, and correct me if I'm wrong again, JC, because you're like our expert. And by the way, shout out to JC. You're amazing. Thank you so much. And I'll give everyone in this chat a shout out as well. And we are giving away a prize at the end of this stream because we hit 50 likes. So like the video, drop a comment in the live chat because if we hit 100 likes, we'll give away another prize. And if we hit 1,200 subscribers, we will also give a prize. We're trying to give away three prizes tonight. Also, join me tomorrow for UFC 280. We'll be here as well. Anyways, long and short of it, correct me if I'm wrong here, JC, but I'm pretty sure one championship can just give it out for Winfrey style. If they're like, if they're impressed with the performance, if they're impressed with the performance, they can just give you 50K. 
man, I, I'm mad. I'm just so fucking pumped that you that you're like getting into getting into one championship. It is like, look, just like the NHL. Like you gotta fo- if you're a fan of hockey, like you gotta follow the NHL. It's it's the biggest one. It's the greatest one. It's where the the best competition at the highest level it has the deepest roster. It doesn't necessarily mean like I have to like the NHL as my favorite style of hockey. You know, maybe I grew up in Europe a bit, appreciate the NHL f- for everything that it offers, being the deepest of talent in its league. But maybe I like the style of Liga, you know, that hybrid ice, right? That's kind of how I look at it when looking at fightings to throw to a hockey example for all those hockey fans here. I like this league. I like what they do. Is the talent pool as deep as the UFC? No. Do they give a lot of chances to younger fighters out east? You know, in Asia and whatnot? Absolutely. Do they sign older UFC fighters? Eddie Alvarez, trade for Demetrius Johnson, Sage North Club, Brandon Vera? Absolutely. But they don't do it as aggressively and as gimmicky as Bellator. And they're unique. They're not as hardcore pride number two Yakuza baby is rising. Chatri has built something beautiful with one championship, and I'm here all day, every day. Buddy, I woke up at 6 a.m. today and streamed fucking uh, 1-162. Every finish. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, Connor isn't American. Uh, I just meant as far as it's like an example, but you're right. You're right. He may as well be, though. <laughs> But you're right. You, you caught me there. What I was trying to go for was like the example of just like a star fighter. And I couldn't just think of an American one on top of my head. Uriah Faber, he never won a belt. So maybe Uriah Faber you could throw as that example. I'll correct myself. Uh, watch the man the UFC erased on YouTube. Pretty crazy. Is it about Demetrius Johnson? <laughs> I'm going to do some research on Rotang. Dude, he's a legend. He's a legend. One of the greatest, you know, Muay Thai fighters of all time. Muay Thai and kickboxing fighters. Um, he was supposed to be on this card, wasn't No, not this card. Who's supposed to be on the Super Lek was supposed to be on this card. That that uh, fight was canceled. He's an unbelievable fighter in his own right. Vasco, it's it's gonna go in and out tonight. That's just that's just that's the diagnosis tonight. There's not really rhyme or reason. We've done everything we can. Um there's a limit to amount of bonus winners. I think it's either three to five winners. Well, I know there's a limit for UFC ones too, but they're in like their own category. Can Chachi not just like... <laughs> Common way uh, to get it is to impress Chachi. Of course, of course. And I know Chachi's, he, he's, uh, he's no Dana White, but he's a pretty cool, you know, president slash commissioner. Oh, Stamp Fairtex is back fighting January 13th. She was fun to watch. Um, all right, I'm going to change this on screen here. We'll get the next bout up. It's just so awesome that in one championship, they have prelims and then they have postlims. There's literally two fights after the main event. I don't know if they're doing them on Amazon, if they're doing them on YouTube, or if they're even broadcasting them at all, but that's hilarious, and I love it. H- hilariously beautiful, I should say. Okay, co-main event of the evening. Muay Thai, baby. Oh, never mind. This is the wrong one. Oh, no, that's right. Sorry. Jeez. Jeez, Isha. Get it together. All right. Okay, speaking of hockey, starting to have a small crush on the WHL. Well, I hope that crush grows into a big old swoon fest because the WHL is the greatest junior hockey league in the world. Right in front of the BCHL. <laughs> Chill, <I'm> man. <laughs> Dude, it is pain. It is. He's right. Number one in the, in the WHL, except Bedard. No, I just mean the league in, in itself is the best out of all the CHLs. Like, And it's no bias to Ontario Q. 
Ontario is kind of a hybrid. It's got some tough guys and some talented guys. The Q, it's like just talent, no toughness. And the dub, it's like, we are going to run you over, motherfucker. But Bedard is an absolute stud. One of the first kids to come out of British Columbia private school hockey. Again, Canada high school and private school hockey is nothing compared to what it is in the United States. But uh, pretty cool to see, you know, a kid come out of, and again, like not giving any love to the private school kids or anything, but it's cool that a new division, um, a new division, a new lane for prospects is starting to show itself, especially with someone like Bedard. By the way, shout out to Hams. I'm feeling really uh, Midwest, Midwestern tonight. Again, uh, to new viewers, apologies about the connection issues. You can check out some of our last live streams. I promise we're usually crisp, clean, and I'm usually not sitting on the floor using two totes and a guitar case for a desk. Um, I'm still getting my desk together. It'll probably be up, not tomorrow morning for UFC 280, but for next week's stream, I'll have a real setup. Our internet connection will be perfect. Well, <laughs> a lot better than it is now. No promise of shit. I don't even have any wood to fucking knock on. <laughs> But uh, just to let our to the, the new viewers know, and we do live streams minimum two days a week. We're doing three this week. We did one 162 this morning. We got one on Prime Video 3 right now, and then UFC 280 bright and early tomorrow. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, I forgot the head honcho of Ryzen FF allegedly has ties with the Yakuza. Yeah, and well, because the I believe the head of Ryzen was involved with um, Pride FC as well. Pride FC, before like the UFC bit was big, was the greatest. Now, was it was it the most politically correct? Were the rules, you know, fair? No, I mean fair, sure, but like they were savage. Okay, they were savage. Slow mode makes it weird. Yeah, but Mighty, Mighty Mouse. Okay, okay. It's Clean Me Time, the one who sl uh, slid in one's DMs. That's amazing. So, JC, tell us that story in the live chat for those who don't know as I uh, run down the fighters here in a second. Duck's going to get Bedard so they can. Uh, McTavish, Bedard, Terry, first sign. That would be nice, but I think he's going to San Jose. I think San Jose is going to be the worst team in the league this year. I got the dude with the long hair. Bouts go four and oh, baby. <laughs> Oops. An absolute star in the making is Kim, Kim Lee, too, says the broadcast. Well, let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Sisma Clin Me. He has four fights. Four professional fights, four wins. Get this. First fight, Muay Thai. Second fight, bare knuckle boxing. Third fight, Muay Thai in one championship. Fourth fight, Muay Thai. Wow. 26 years old. What a beauty fighting out of Thailand and apparently slid in the DMs of one championship and they gave him a chance. I'm going to come back to the live chat in a sec here, but that's amazing. Look at his, Looking at his opponent, Regan uh, Earsel, the immortal, fighting out of the Netherlands. He has a record of... Bah, 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 is he going to tell me here? I literally have to count it. Well, he's got one loss. Let's just say that. And he's riding a 10 fight win streak. So he is 10 and 1 in professional Muay Thai and kickboxing. Lost his first professional Muay Thai bout to a unanimous decision and has been absolutely dominating ever since. His last ba -ba -ba -ba, Six wins have been in one championship. Before then, he fought in Lion Fight 34 and Heroes Gate 16. So there you go. There you go. A little, a little bit on the two fighters. 29 years old is Isel. 26 years old is Clinley. 
Dude, we all seen the, the Napoleon blown apart doc on Pride FC. <laughs> I hope you all have seen it. Man, Pride FC, what what an unbelievable promotion. As far as talent when rivaling the UFC at that time, sure. It, it definitely had like the better light heavyweight and heavyweight division. But if you look at some of the promotions under that, or sorry, uh, some of the weight divisions under that, Strike Force, in my opinion, was the shit. Strike Force boosted the UFC more than Pride. I should make a video on that someday. How Strike Force actually made the UFC what it is now, not necessarily Pride. Yes, Pride's roster helped, but uh, I really truly think Strike Force will got them to the next level. Look at that. Look at that. Coming out. <laughs> In a scary Halloween mask. <laughs> All right, so this is the inaugural 1FC lightweight Muay Thai. Sorry, I didn't take that banner off the bottom of the screen. Uh, Muay Thai belt up for grabs here, folks. <laughs> his cardio is unmatched as the broadcast i love the walkouts for one too they do a, they, they give a little pro wrestling little ode to pro wrestling in there seven and on one championship yep we just ran it down getting the crowd going Scottish stick with the Mac mask. Regan is sell. Great walkout. So Kimley wanted to fight at one, so he DM'd them and they gave him a fight all KO ever since his debut. Just as simple as that, eh? I got to do a little bit more research on that. I mean, I, I it's, I'm not saying that I don't believe you. I'm just like I want to know like the full detailed story because like. He must have sent them some like tape or uh, tape. This is 2022, but like some video clips or something. It couldn't have been as easy as like, <laughs> here's my work visa. I'm coming to one championship. Send me a contract. I'm going to sign it. But I get the gist of the story and that's unbelievable. Uh, I'm going for Clint me. Shoot. I'm, I'm starting to, I want, I kind of want to root for him too. I kind of want to root for him too, folks. What are my top three MMA organizations of all time or active? Of all time? Um, if I'm going all time, it's WEC, UFC, and Strike Force. If I'm going right now, it's one uh, UFC. I mean, I'm going to have uh, Bellator just because of the talent. I want to say Cage Warriors, but. I think I'm, I'm going to have to realistically choose Bellator. I hope the PFL does better because I kind of dig. Okay, I shouldn't say I dig it. It still kind of confuses me. But I just like how one is unique in the way they do things. Matt, if you're still here, PFL is also unique in the way they do things. Is They have a season. They have a season. And you, you kind of have to like the, the name of the game is stay healthy. Because yeah, you get paid for your fights. But you also throughout the season have a chance to win a million dollars if you win the season in the playoffs. All right, Regan Assel against Sismo Klinmi. Five three-minute rounds for this inaugural lightweight kickboxing championship. I'm going to Klinmi. Lock it in. Oh, you're still here. Buddy, we have so much MMA to watch. <laughs> GC, what are your th three favorites of all time and uh, and right now? Aquaman. He does look like Aquaman. Sins Moat, Clean Me. 26 years old, weighed in at 169 pounds, 80, 16, and 3 total Muay Thai kickboxing record. Again, shout out to you all. <laughs> you know I'm still here. Shout out to you all joining. I apologize for some of the connection issues that have come in and out. You know, I know the quality isn't that great today, and 
we've done everything we could on our end. So I apologize. We're going to address it. We're going to work on it. We're not going to work on it. We're going to fix it moving forward. Um, but just for context, I mean, I am, I did just move here. I am still living out of boxes. Um, I'm getting a new desk soon. That's why I'm literally like sitting on the floor. I have two totes and a guitar case. So usually we're a lot more professional in these streams. I, I know, but I appreciate you all hanging out with me nonetheless. Live play by play, live reaction, live interaction, of course, with you folks. We are giving away a prize at the end of the stream too, because we hit 50 likes on the video. So shout out to all you folks for that. If we hit a hundred likes on the video, we'll give away yet another prize to somebody in the live chat too. And all you have to do to enter is like the video and drop a comment in the live chat. Boom, you're automatically entered into winning our prize. Which is just some THPN merch of your, or sorry, some City Life Project merch of your choosing. I'm relatively new to MMA, so one UFC and Belter. Hey, JC. Those are my picks too, baby. <laughs> Highly recommend that you go to the archives on Fight Pass if you can, JC, and check out some of the Strike Force um, and uh, and Pride FC fights because the UFC did buy Pride FC, they did buy Strike Force, they did buy the WEC. So you can see all those fights there. All right, folks, round one of this championship fight. Let's get it all. And these are big boys. Let's get it on. You buy the seventh half. I'll buy the booze, and we'll watch UFC or one. And you can explain it to me. Dude, I already got a freezer full of 7th Avenue. So you let me know when, and we'll do that. Shout 7th Avenue Pizza. Greatest damn frozen pizza in the Midwest. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment-driven live stream, but I'm going to focus a little bit on the play-by-play -play here, but I will keep checking it. I will bring them back on the screen. Nice push kick by Clinley. Ursula counters with an outside low kick. I guess I can, I can literally take this off. I can I can get a little comfortable here with the play by play. <laughs> That's a, not gonna get comfortable for the play by play for this one, folks. And I'll get right back to your comments here in a sec. Keep the comments coming. Let me know how you are scoring this fight. Let me know your live reaction. High outside looking for clean me. Nice straight left jab by Ursel. High kick blocked by Urso on his right side. Lightweight Muay Thai World Championship, folks. So they got the small gloves, the MMA gloves with the Muay Thai rules here. No clinching, no takedowns, just pure motherfucking violence. I told Kyle I'm gonna I would stop swearing on the streams. So that YouTube would like us more, but hey, with some of these uh, connection issues that we had earlier, fuck it. I'm sh I'm swearing on this one, Kyle. That outside low kick that Ursel threw on uh, Clint me really hurt him. It sent him back a bit. His left lead leg, you can see, top left side of his lead leg is already bruised, and he checked that last kick of Ursel. And Klimi knows the game plan now. Can't keep getting kicked. Ursel kicks hard as he pushes forward with some nice combos. 41 seconds left in this first round, folks. Again, three-minute rounds in Muay Thai and kickboxing in one championship. Push by Ursel. Nice overhand left elbow by Klimi. Nice combo. Straight right and a kick by Klimi. Urs what Ursel is doing is he's stalking him down, stalking him down. Clemmy's doing a good, good job of applying pressure to push him forward like he did, like he is there, and then resets. Ten seconds left in this first of five rounds. If we need five in this championship bout, end of the first round. What are we thinking, folks? What are we thinking? Who won that first round? Let me know. Like the video, by the way. Drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We're giving away some uh, City Light Project merchandise at the end of the stream because we hit our first goal of 50 likes. Oh, you are amazing. If we had 100 likes and or 1,200 subscribers as well at the end of the stream, we'll give away two more prizes to lucky folks in the live chat. 
live play-by-play, live commentary, live interaction and reaction with you folks here. Again, apologies for the connection issues we've had tonight. Um, if you go back and check some of our past live streams, you'll see that like we do things pretty good here. I'm still living out of boxes. I just moved, so we're doing the best we can. As I set up my studio, as I set up my office, it'll be a lot. It'll be a lot better. But I couldn't pass up an opportunity to stream one championship. And earlier today, in fairness, we did have pretty damn good connection. Anyways, round two, folks. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. And already pressing forward is your cell. Just kind of feeling each other out. Nice uh, combo by Klimley. So left hand and a kick. But very much Klimley is aware of Ursel's kick as he's has his lead leg up. He's using it for a push kick, but also very light on it to try to ch check any of the leg kicks that Ursel probably is going to throw. Ursel catches the leg of Klimley and clinches him up against the fence, throwing some knees. Is the ref going to separate them? I thought there was no... I, there we go. Yeah, yeah. This is about to go for a takedown, so the ref not going to allow that. Two minutes left in this second round. How are you folks scoring this one thus far? Let me know in the live chat. High kick. Your cell. Inside leg kick by Klimley. Oh, and both of them went to swing there with an overhand and both missed. I've yet to see a double knockout live, folks. It would be tremendous. Oh, and a nice combo by Yourself. Yourself's the real deal, folks. He's an absolute savage as well. This is a tremendous fight. Both their legs are bruised up now. Both of them now are just swinging. And we're only in the second round. One minute left in the second round here. Body kick by Klinmi. An overhand right counter by Yersel. And Klinmi doing a good job of mixing it up, but Yersel is just... He's dialed. He... <laughs> He's got his game plan here, and he's sticking to it. Nice overhand right by Ursel. A kick by Klinley. Caught and countered again by Ursel. Ursel, you can see he's a, he's a little bit bigger than Klinley. Doing a good job of gauging the timing of Klinley. He's catching those kicks. But he's throwing some hard shots. Is ear still at the end of this? 10 seconds left in this second round. And there we go. End of the second round. Wow, what a fight. What a freaking fight, folks. How are you scoring this one thus far? Let me know in the live chat. I want to know for me. Yourself. I think Yourself's winning this fight thus far. He's landing the harder shots. I feel like he's being more of the aggressor. Very, very early still. But uh, just seems like he's just a little bit more dialed. Just dialed in. Not to say that Klimley's having a bad or off night. In my opinion, yet, yeah. And I haven't seen too much of him. So I'll let JC actually be the, the judge of that. And JC's actually already uh, commenting here. But I think it's less about Klimley not doing that well and more that, you know, Regan Yersel is the real deal. Damn, my boy, Klimley not in it tonight. He had a good first round. That second round wasn't his best. Let's get it on! Round three, folks. Let's get it on. Center of the ring. Yersel have no idea by how much.
Yeah, first round close, second round ear cell. And there we go. Klimley being a little bit more aggressive now. That's kind of what we thought. It's kind of what we thought he would have to do here if he wants to get a round back. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in this third round. Good combo by Klinmi. Good uppercut on the entry by Klinley. I like that. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's comment driven live stream. I know you're in into this as well, and I and I get it. And I, I'll keep looking at the comments, but I just love chatting with you folks. I love especially chatting about the fights. I know we kind of get into it between the rounds and after. You're so <laughs> saying that it was low, but didn't react like that kick was low. He's solid, man. He's solid. Starting to feel the crown and sprite. Ayo. Hey, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Happy Friday, everybody, by the way. Cheers to the chat. Cheers to the one championship fans here. Nice combo by Klimmy. I like Klimmy, man. I like his style. I'll give it to you. And he's having a way better round. One minute left in this third round. I mean, Klimmy's winning this round. Nice kick on the outside by Klimmy as well. Yeah, Klimmy's having the better round here. Being a lot more aggressive. Able to find his shot. Inside leg kick by Klimi. That one looked like it was actually checked by yourself. That one wasn't checked on the outside, though. And Ooh, that one looked like it hurt. Okay, that was low. Thirty seconds left in this third round. We're going in the championship rounds next, folks. Unless we see a knockout in the next twenty-five seconds. So they're very, they're both very technical. But you can see this is one championship. The refs actually saying, "Fight, guys! Come on, let's go!" I mean, wh what a promotion! You'd never see the UFC do that. You see the refs take a nap if the guys just want to lay on each other. Just like put it this way. Carlos Barza, Rose uh, Namajunas, that wouldn't have happened in one championship. That wouldn't have happened in one championship. And what a fucking disgrace of a champion. Both of those, the, the former in Rose and now Carla. Dog, you're about to have a damn good time in Mariucci, dude. Well, I mean, the Gophers won tonight. So I'm 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 scared that they're gonna like take their feet off the gas for tomorrow and let me down. And to be honest, the last few hockey games I've gone to with Hoppy. Our teams haven't won. Actually, just the last one. But <laughs> I truly think he was the wild curse because he went to the first three games. The first game that he doesn't go to is the Canucks one. I watched it at his place, and the Canucks won. So, For those in the chat who don't know, we're hockey fans, okay? <laughs> Canadians and Americans, especially Midwestern Americans, hockey fans. Especially that college hockey. All right. Round four championship round let's get it all let's get it on all right here we go center of the ring and a couple kicks already by your cell outside low kick on your cell by clean me your cell changes stances now switch to southpaw. Now back to orthodox. So you're still not changing stances. I wonder if it's because maybe his legs are starting to hurt. Clean me. He's he's. Oh, and a nice shot by Clean me. Clean me's been orthodox this whole time. Two minutes and sixteen seconds left in this fourth round. Ooh, and that low kick on Klimley looked like that one hurt. Klimley tried to counter with an overhand left. Didn't land. Again, vote in the poll question too, folks, if you haven't already. And let me know what you voted for in our poll question in the live chat. I'd love to know. 153 left in this fourth round.
one thirty left in this fourth round. Again, very, very tactical. Less of a brawl, more of a searching for that big shot that's going to send the other one to the canvas. And the battle of the low kicks is like this. Man, my legs are starting to hurt just watching this. Oh, there we go. There's a shot. Ursel, he gets clean me. He gets clean me with the left hook. God, I love Muay Thai. It's so badass. And I love this ref, too. He's just telling, let's go, guys. Let's go. Keep fighting. Push kick. Fight yourself. Come on. Oh, that, man, these kicks. Like, I have my volume low on my little TV here. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I can hear them just through my little slit. I need to stop procrastinating. Home over the stream is too good. Oh, even with shitty connection tonight, even with not the best visuals, the stream is too good. I appreciate it, buddy. That means a lot. I'm self-conscious because there's nothing else I can do tonight. So I apologize to all the new viewers for some of the connection issues we've had. It's not affecting the audio. I'm still going to do play-by-play. -play. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and you're automatically entered to winning some prizes. Happy Friday, folks. Nice combination by Klinmi. Final 10 seconds of this fourth round. Ooh, and that body shot. The fourth round was hard to score for me. Because both of them didn't do too, too much. But close first round. Uh, Irsel won the second. Klinmi won the third. Uh, fourth is kind of like the first. Is, th is this fifth round the deciding? Dude, Irsa's leg is fucked up. That's why he's switching stances. Well, I mean, uh, so is uh, Klinmin, man. But I will say it's 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 less fucked because it's a little bit more mobile. JC, in your opinion, who's winning? Because for me, it's Irsa. Yeah, I think it's Irsa because I think Irsa like dominantly won that second round. Uh, they each won around. Yeah, they each won a round. Irsel won the first, I'll say, and possibly won that fourth. So I think Irsel's up too. I think uh, I think your boy, I think your boy is gonna have to do a lot here in this Let's fifth get it and final round for the lightweight Muay Thai One Championship title. We are in the fifth round here. Clean me, Irsel. Let's freaking go. Body kick by Klinmi. I mean, guys, you got to abandon the kicking game here and just go for the knockouts. Set something up with a fake and just throw an overhand at this point. I mean, they've been kicking each other so much. If you do some faint kicks, some faint kicks and actually just throw those hands, you might actually connect. Oh, the inside of the left lead leg of Klinmi is also fucked. Oh, both of their legs, though, dude. Blood vessel's gonna pop. Nice body kick by Clinley. I mean, Clinley's looking good right now. You're so the good left hook. Oh, I spoke too soon. You're so tags him with a few good shots. Come on, guys. Box now. There you go. You're so the left hook. Straight left jab. One minute and 30 seconds left. Who's going to be the new lightweight Muay Thai world champion in one championship, folks? One minute and 20 seconds left. The ref encouraging these guys to get it on. <laughs> yeah, and it's his lead kick and he has not changed stances at all. Rest telling both of these guys, let's go, let's go. Yeah, boys, let's go. Oh, man. 
they have been trading quite a bit, like a shot a piece in this one. But I think, I mean, cleanly has been landing more on the face. Or sorry, Ursel has been landing more in just like the, the boxing and the striking on the face of Klinmi than, than he's landed. I mean, Klinmi's bloodied up. Klinmi caught the leg and went for went for the kill. Oh, man, Ursel tagged him a couple of times. Yep, Ursel's going to take this. Unless Klinmi can knock him out in 25 seconds, this is Ursel's fight to lose. Oh, and Ursel with an overhand right on Klimli. Body shot on Klimli. Ursel is just... Ursel is solidifying this win, ladies and gentlemen. And what a fight it was. What a championship fight it was. Klinmi just cannot do enough here and is getting tagged way too much in the face and now just stalking him as Ursel. And that is it. That is it. Is it. A new lightweight... Muay Thai champion will be crowned in a moment, folks. Let me know who you think won in the live chat here. So you can get a yellow card in one for not being active in these Muay Thai fights, but I think this one was just like, it was more of a chess game than a brawl, and I get one, they're like... <laughs> You want to play chess? Go to the fucking UFC. But, bro, I think this was this was a fight of the leg kicks. Sure, we didn't see them throw punches at each other's faces that much. But sure as shit, we saw them attack each other's legs like crazy motherfuckers that they are. That was insane. Neither of these guys are going to be able to walk tomorrow. Oh, sorry, JC. Yeah, you know what, JC? 100%. He's got my support, too, because I'm always looking for, you know, fighters to start following guys and gals that I like in one championship. He's one of them, man. He's one of them. A great display of respect here, but I think I think we all know who the winner of this one is. I'm sorry. I got to get homework done. See it. No need to apologize, buddy. Cheers. Thanks for joining. All right, we got Chatri here with the belt, ready to award it. Oh, so it's going to be a split decision. One judge had it for Clinmi, one had it for Earcell. Who is the champion? Yep. Reagan Earcell. And you know what? It was the right decision. It was the right decision, and it was close. Those leg kicks back and forth, oh my goodness. Earcell, I think in that last round, with the striking to the face of Klinmi, I think that's what got it done, folks. Again, with how one is judged, other than that one earlier, that JC and I agree to disagree on the outcome for that one. But, uh, wow, that was a great fight. It wasn't a brawl. It was a technical, beautiful display of Muay Thai and a leg attack clinic. By the way, folks, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I apologize for some of the connection issues we've had tonight. Um, it's out of my control. We've troubleshot on the fly. Um, we'll take a break. I'll refresh things. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better. We'll address the connection issues moving forward. You can go back and check some of our other live uh, streams. We never have issues like this bad or anything like that, but I didn't want to stop the stream play by play live commentary. It will not end on this channel, even if we get hit with some connection issues, but we do a minimum of two live streams every single week, fight companions, you know, play by play, hanging out with the chat here. And uh, yeah, if you dig my vibe, if you dig Fight Companions, if you dig a great fight community that we're building here, uh, come check us out. Subscribe, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. And if you do just that, because we do giveaways on every stream too, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. You have a chance to win some prizes. We set our first goal at 50 likes. We reached 50 likes, so we will give away some prizes. Uh, we'll give away some City Light Project merchandise to a lucky commenter in the live stream. I don't care if you commented once or a hundred times. If you commented once, you were automatically entered. Get one entry. It's saved. We'll randomly generate 
the generator at the end. It picks a winner. Boom. We'll give away some prizes. If we hit our second goal of 100 likes or our third goal of 1,200 subscribers on the channel, we will st- We'll give away three prizes, and I really want to give away three prizes tonight, folks. So anyways, long or the short of it, we do giveaways on every stream as well. We have a great fight community, and we do live play-by-play commentary reaction, just these fight companion watch parties, minimum of two day, two times a week. We did 162 earlier today. We got one on Prime, three right now, and then tomorrow morning, bright and early, UFC 280. So I appreciate the regulars who join us. I appreciate the new viewers. I apology, my apologies about the connection and just some of the hurdles we've had in this stream today. But hey, the, the fight's made up for it. The fight's made up for it. Just listening into uh, Earcell right now as he's holding up that belt. Two sport world champion kickboxing in Muay Thai, Regan Irsel. Stand the fuck up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Amazing. Amazing fights here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. I love it. And the production of one championship is just awesome, too. All right. The main event of the evening is next, folks. How fucking stoked are you? I'm fucking stoked. Who is this broadcaster? What the heck is this? Chatri has a Chatri's doing the apprentice? One championship edition? Oh my god, it's real. I thought this was kind of a gag at first. That's um Are you guys watching this on the broadcast right now? Chatri is hosting the apprentice one championship edition. Oh my god. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> George St. Pierre is on the show. Did you folks just watch that commercial on the on the Prime feed? That's unbelievable. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of got my hopes up, but my heart knew he lost. Dude, at least hey, at least scoring one judge, you know, at least scoring well in one judge's card. I mean, it, it showed that the guy had heart and he didn't just like dog at all. You said he had an off night. Yeah, maybe compared to what you seen before he had an off night. But I just think his opponent, Regan Earsell, is just an absolute savage. Yes, if uh, Leinker wins the belt, it will be vacant since he misses weight. I'm hoping he would win because the next in line for the belt will be one of my people if he wins next match against the former champ. I was surprised that GSP was here. I am not impressed with your performance. I The one thing I can do well is a George St. Pierre accent. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm going to take a quick break before the main event of the evening. Go fill up. Go fill up your beverage. Grab another one if yours is empty or cold. Drain the main vein. Grab some snacks because we have a five-round MMA championship bout next, folks. And I'm going to get crazy watching this one. I'm going to get hyped. I want you guys to get hyped. I want to hear your predictions. We'll highlight both of the fighters on the other side. Again, like the video, drop a comment in the live chat for a chance to win some prizes. We will announce the winner of the first giveaway at the end of this main event. So if you haven't entered the contest already, please do so. We are trying to get to 100 likes on the video now. We reached our first goal of 50, so we will give away a prize to one lucky commenter in the YouTube chat. If we hit 100 likes on the video, we'll give another prize. And if we hit 1,200 subscribers by the end of this stream... We'll give yet another prize, a third prize. 
prizes being City Life Project merchandise. Hoodies, uh, crewnecks, t-shirts, limited, and our main uh, line of merch. So really appreciate all the support. We'll be back in two to three minutes time for the main event of the evening. Shout out to you all watching live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. One on Prime Video 3, baby. Let's freaking go. I'll see you folks right back here on the other side. Don't go anywhere. Live play-by-play -play reaction and interaction with you folks. And we have giveaways. So get your comments in the live stream, your predictions, and tell me what you voted for in the poll question. See you on the other side.
friends, we are back live on the City Life Project YouTube channel for the main event of the evening. Shout out to everyone who's joined us throughout this stream or who've stayed from beginning to end. You are all amazing. I love every single one of you, and I'll give everyone in our live chat a freaking shout out at the end of this fight, right after we announce the winner of our contest. Potentially first of a few contests. Let me know where are we at for likes on this video right now. I know we hit 50. Where are we at with likes on this video? If we hit 100 likes, we'll give away a second prize. If we hit 1,200 subscribers, we will give away a third prize. But, but I know we hit 50 likes, so we will give away one prize at the end of the stream to a lucky commenter in the live in the live chat. Okay, let's highlight both of these fighters. As you folks know, John Leinker missed weight. His pro MMA Record is 35, 9, and 0. Oh, hands of stone, John Leinker, unfortunately missed weight and was stripped of his title. He is riding a four-fight win streak in one championship and, like we said, was the title holder. But on, and I mean, he's a former UFC uh, fighter, by the way, folks. If you didn't know, and he had a pretty damn good career in the UFC, only losing to Corey Sanhagen and TJ D or and TJ Dillashaw, as well as Ali Bagutinov. I mean, he has a Nov in his name, so you know he's good. In I and mean, he lost to Louis Godino, but that was way back in two. 2012 in the UFC in his first ever UFC bout. So he lost his first ever UFC bout. He was in the UFC from 20, sorry, that was 2012, 2012 all the way to blah, 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 blah. and nineteen. left upon losing to Corey Sanhagen and joined one championship and hasn't looked back. So there you go. John Leinker, unfortunately, missed weight. Came in at 146, one pound over the championship limit. Going up against a young gun wonder boy, Fabricio De Andrade, holding an 8-2 and two record is Fabricio Andrade in MMA. And these guys don't like each other. The, uh, the elder and the prodigy do not like each other. Competing in one championship in his last five fights. Andrade has won every single one of those in one championship before then. Competed in WFCA, Kunlun Fight, and WLF. He's been one championship since 2020, and he's been absolutely dominating, not losing since. Linker's the or Linker's the slight favorite, the Brazilian former champion now at minus 160. Fabricio Dandraj, the new wonder boy, plus 130. Underdog again. There's bad blood here. Um Fabricio Dandraj is a lot is taller at 5'6. John Linker 5'3. Andraj has a bigger reach as well. 71.7 inches of reach. Where John Leinker, 67 even. So, I guess it's odd, but you know what I mean. So, there you go, folks. There you go. The favorite is still the former champion, the veteran, Fabricio D'Andrade, the slight underdog, but he's playing with house money right now. It feels like, I mean, his opponent already had a loss this week, if you know what I mean. All right, back to the comments we go. Oh, there's not even any comments other than Gravedigger's and go on drive. Let's go, baby. Gravedigger, an absolute beauty, by the way. I appreciate you, man. But it is interesting that John Hands of Stone Linker, if you look, 35 and 9 MMA record. And again, looking at his losses in the UFC, he's only lost top guys. Minus his debut. So, like, he's still a legit fighter. And he's only 32 years old. Probably getting paid handsomely in one. And oh my God, if you can wear those shorts in an MMA match, that's in my opinion, reason to sign with one in itself. All right. 
the official, not Herb Dean, thank God, is giving uh, his instructions to the fighters. Main event's about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for joining here tonight. In live play-by-play, live commentary, live reaction, and live interaction with all you amazing people. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, and let's get this going. Round one of five. Let's get it all! Let's get it on. One championship world title fight, main event of the evening. The number two on draws takes on the former champion who stripped of his title at weigh-ins, Linker. And you can see the difference, the body type of both of these bantamweight fighters. A nice leg kick by Lineker. I keep saying Linker. I'm such an idiot. Lineker. Let me know who you voted for in the poll question, too, by the way. Oh, and a nice leg kick again by Lineker. Inside low kick. Look at those little little chops of Andrade. Andrade not switching up his stance. Yeah, he doesn't like those. Those hurt. And Lineker. Short, stocky, and powerful. Andrade, taller, lanky, bouncing around. Full of youth and exuberance. One minute into this first round. Like the video, drop a comment in the live chat, folks, for a chance to win some prizes. And let me know who you voted for in the poll question that we have going in the live chat. Lineker, right jab, try to set up that overhand left. Center of the ring, still are both of these fighters. 320 left in this first round. Again, shout out to everyone joining us live in the City Light Project YouTube channel. We do a minimum of two streams a week, sometimes up to three to four. Nice knee to the body by Andrade. Apologies for the, the poor quality today. We had some connection issues. It's gone in and out all stream. We tried troubleshooting. It just It is what it is. But go back and check out some of our last streams for reference. We do a very crisp and clean job usually but it's all about the community here join the community we have one of the best live chats ever and we're building a great fight community here on the Light project youtube channel Andrade tagging lineker with a few one two shots and sends lineker back lineker's wobbled lineker's wobbled here folks and Andrade tried to finish with some knees Andrade with the head kick Andrade with the knee and lineker with the good takedown veteran move power move by Lineker. He was getting tagged. The one twos, one twos, one hook, left hook, straight jab. Like he took so many of those, just those combos in particular in that last sequence, not to mention the knees. So shout out to Lineker for successfully getting that takedown veteran move there on Andrade. And Lineker. Andrade tried to get out of that. Lineker gave him a little ground and pound, but Lineker right back on him. Back to their feet. But Lineker has his back, and he's going for the slam takedown, and he gets him down. One minute, 40 seconds left in this first round. Lineker still has his back. They're standing up. He just has the hooks in. A good job by Andrade for reversing. And now they're separated. Andrade steps forward right away. Lineker threw a left hook. Left shot to the body. And Andrade is stepping forward, much like he did in that last sequence, which really hurt Lineker and sent him back. His face is all bruised now. Andrade threw a kick but missed. Lineker now, timing that, was making sure he didn't get shot there so he could time that overhand left, but Andrade just says, come on, what do you got? Yeah, and these guys don't like each other. Lineker looks like he recovered a bit, but he just took a knee. 30 seconds left in this first round. First of five, potentially. But the way this is going, I don't know, folks, as Andrade landed a sick left hook on Lineker. 
A nice overhand left by by Lineker, followed by a body shot. And yeah, Lineker still trying to find a spot for the overhand. World title fight, bantamweight division. You got, you got to love it, folks. You got to love it. End of the first round here. End of the first round. Who do you think won that first round? I have to think it's Andrade, right? You have to think it's Andrade. I know Lineker had a little bit of grappling advantage there for, for a very short period of that fight, but Andrade, for the most part, got him with the knee to the body there that seemed to win, him, that win Lineker for a second, and then the one-twos. Lineker, though, a, a great veteran here, as even when he's rocked, he kind of steps back, steps back, and then tries to sh throw an overhand. What are you thinking, folks? What are you thinking? Do you think the strikes or the takedowns were enough to win that that first round? And I, I know it's one championship. It's not round by round, but just we're MMA fans, okay? We're always going to kind of score it like that, so... <laughs> not just score just how the fight is going i guess that's what i want to know all right round two let's get it all let's get it on straight right jab by andrade oh a nice outside leg kick by andrade on lineker Lineker's now stalking, though. What a nice leg kick by Andrade. Good combo by Lineker. Jab and then body shot. Lineker's the one who's Applying the octagon control right now, stalking down Andrade, but Andrade just looks fresh, bouncing around still. Yeah, Andrade was using his range beautifully. His jabs getting through. The jabs, I mean, his best asset right now. I can shout out to everyone joining. Sorry, their connection's a little bad here. But uh, we're making it through. We're making it through. And we're going to adjust moving forward. I just moved, actually, last week. So I'm still living out of boxes. The first stream set up. And, of course, the internet's not the best here today. But that's okay. That's okay. You all are amazing. And I appreciate you joining. We're doing a giveaway regardless. And, oh, it was a nice shot by Lineker. And a knee by Andrade. But Lineker just drags him right to the ground. The thing about Lineker is he's so strong. You can have good grappling. But he's so strong. And here we go. Lineker with a nice shot from the ground. Lineker. Oh, he rocked. He rocked Andrade with that one. Lineker rocked Andrade with a left hook. And now Lineker is just trying to pour it on him with two minutes and 50 seconds left in the second round. Lineker, man, with the chin, with a granite chin and very much a veteran in this sport. He can strike, overhand right, and he can freaking wrestle. I think it's the technical strike gave that, that win for Andrade. Lineker's making this more of a close fight in this second round, though, uh, Gravedigger. Mr. Jones. Two minutes left in this second round. Oh, man. Lineker's just finding a home for that overhand left and that right hook. But Andrade's got a chin as well. Jim Mano, what's going on, buddy? UFC fighters better than one fighters in MMA. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for joining, buddy. And thank you for entering our contest. I appreciate it. Just by liking and commenting, you've automatically entered into winning some prizes. So there you go, buddy. There you go. Welcome to the stream. Oh, 
Oh, that those combos by Lineker. By the way, Jim, uh, Lineker was in the UFC. G -g Guess who's back? What's up, buddy? Did you get any homework done? Main event of the evening here right now. One minute left in the second round. Lineker tried to fire into the pocket. By the way, oh, you missed, you missed a lot. You missed the first pretty much two rounds of this championship fight. Lineker was the champion. He's on a four-fight win streak in one. He has a longer win streak in total. He got his title stripped because he came in one pound overweight. So even if he wins this, he will not win his bantamweight title back. Andrade, there's bad blood between them. Andrade does not like him. Andrade is the young and up-and-comer. I believe, what was his record? Eight and one. And he's, if he wins, he will win the title. So Lineker, not eligible to win the title because he was stripped of it due to missing weight. Andrade now is looking to win it. Andrade dropped Lineker, or not dropped him, but hit him with a few hard shots in the first round that really wobbled him. Lineker was able to execute the takedown though and dominate a little bit in the grappling here in the second round early second round pretty much up until this last minute Lineker has been doing a lot better in the striking and he was able to employ a little bit of grappling too wasn't until that last minute where I would say that Andrade got the better of him in the striking again he tagged Andrade a few times where Andrade was actually like pushed back falling over as well yeah, I got an AWOL buzzed. Teachers need to step step it up. I got an AWOL buzz. Teachers need to step it up. Oh, buddy, I got some fucking college stories for you, too. And, like, I'm, I'm a nerd, as you know. I mean, I'm calling fights on a shitty connection stream for one championship. Of course I'm a nerd. Um, But I had some, like, pretty fun ways to navigate university because I was a nerd, but I like to I like to party. Oh, my God, look at the eye. Look at the eye of Lineker. The right eye of Lineker. A doctor's going to have to look at that. No, he can't see. There is no way he can see out of that eye. I have a feeling that Lineker is going to survive this one. Depends on his eye. Lineker's going to have to go for the kill here. And I'm, Sorry, YouTube. I mean, go for the knockout here. Jim and Jim, what's up, Jim? Appreciate you joining again, brother. He just had his controversial loss against Sanhagen. Well, that that's the thing. He lost against Sanhagen and uh, TJ Dillashaw. Those are his significant losses in the UFC. He, like I said, he lost his first fight in the UFC back in like 2012 too. But went on absolute tear from 2012 to 2018. He was in the UFC and he only lost. He lost his first fight again. But then his only other losses were to Sanhagen and TJ Dillashaw. So solid fighter, clearly still ripping it up. And Lineker drops from the clinch to try to go for a leg submission here. Four minutes left in this third round. The connection is fixed. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. The range on Andrade is going to win this. That eye is blowing up. Hey, Andrade has done a beautiful job here. And you know what I love about this fight? is it's It's been an even fight. It's been a solid fight. It's been a great display of mixed martial arts. Lineker lands with the overhand left. Lineker lands a, a straight right. That's thing. Lineker has employed his game. And he's, he's unable to win in the range, but he's landed overhands. He's employed a little bit of ground and pound. He's been better in the grappling. And he's rocked Andraja a few times as well. Whereas Andraja has been picking Lineker apart at range. Rocked him a few times. Uh, did the eye get cut by accident or punches? It's like barely cut. It's mostly just bruised, but punches, yeah. I did jinx it and slam my drink. <laughs> yeah, mostly punches. Now, this is a, I mean, a technical, but this is a brawl, baby. Where are we at with likes on the YouTube video, by the way, folks? Someone let me know. I'm scared to open any tabs. I don't have any tabs open. Not Twitter, nothing, because of what's going on here. Nice body shot combo by Lineker. 
That's the thing. Lineker might have to end. I mean, obviously he's trying to, but he might really have to end this fight in this round or else the doctor might not let him continue. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in this third round. We are halfway through this fight officially. Going into the championship rounds next. Oh, and Andrade knees Lineker twice in the balls. So the first one was low, and Andrade grabbed it and looked at the ref. Oh, and then it didn't get like stopped or anything, and Andrade need him again. I thought the second one might have been in the stomach, but apparently, apparently not. Let's take a look at the replay. So the first one was clean to the body. Second one was not. Okay, so the first one was just, oh, I got need to the body. The second one was to the to the nads, 100%. Oh, and he's still down yelling. Oh, this is a terrible sight. His eyes bruised. And now he's just yelling in agony after getting need in the gonads. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Emotional damage. Indeed. Ouch, 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 ouch. Thank you for doing this stream. Of course, brother. Every one Amazon Prime stream I'm going to be doing, you better believe it. 69 likes. Nice. Let's get it to 100, folks, and we'll give away another prize. So halfway point of the fight, they're saying if he cannot continue due to that strike, they'll they'll go to the judges' scorecards and whoever's up. Lineker took out his cup right now to try to just. Oh my god, his cup was shattered. His cup was shattered with that knee. He's not gonna continue. There's no way. Yeah, he, there's no way he can continue after that. Hot <laughs> dog physical damage. His cup was... Sh like, I feel like I'm going to puke. Oh, I'm watching it again. Oh, boys. Real talk here. We've all taken a nasty shot to the nuts, all right? We all went to high school. Most of us did. No one is like need someone hard enough to shatter a cup. Like you got you haven't got hit that hard, have you? Oh. I mean, he is going to be fucking sore tomorrow. Look at that eye. You're just in a, a fight. You took some body shots too. You did some grappling and you got need in the nuts so hard your fucking cup shattered. 2 minutes left and stop. Looks like he's throwing up. Oh, he's he's dry heaving. It's over. He he's throwing up because of the pain. Agonizing. <laughs> Did you hear the announcement? I had groin so the next day I don't feel right. <sighs> oh, I feel terrible for him. I really, that's not how you want the fight to end. You know, with the eye, if, if the eyes, put it this way, if two minutes, what it was, two minutes left in the round and the doctor stopped you because of the eye, fine. That That's, as a fighter, you accept that because that's that's part of it. And that's the thing, they, someone would have to provide him a cup because he doesn't have one right now because it's shattered. I mean, that was a shot of nightmares. The poor guy. And I mean, for both of these guys, too, that's not how you want to win this fight. That's not how you want to become a champion or, you know. Not that he's going to become a champion because even if he's up, that's the thing. This is just like lose-lose. 
for Lineker because if he say he's up on the judges scorecards here, right? If that's how they're going to do this, they end the fight and he's up on the judges cards or whatever. Um, he can't even win his title. He can't even win his title because he was stripped because he came in a pound overweight. He's still laying down. Oh, man. Less than 30 seconds left. Oh, man, what a beauty. He's standing up. He doesn't even have a cup. How are you going to do this? But less than 30 seconds left in, like, st stoppage time, whatever they call it here, recovery time. That's it. They're officially going to have to call it. They gave it. They gave all... Uh, all that was within the rules to be able to be able to give. He's walking to the center of the circle. What a what a what a beauty, but my God. All right, let's let's see what's gonna go down in this main event. No contest. Red unable to continue. No contest. And, you know, there was bad blood going into this, you know, a little display of respect there. They they both know. Neither of them wanted this. I mean, Andrade is probably just absolutely gutted to. He was hoping to leave either losing to a champion slash championship worth fighter because he was the championship go champion going into this or winning the belt. Wow, for such a phenomenal night, it's it's kind of a buzzkill for it to end this way. But I, I hate even saying that term because I I feel bad. I, I I don't want Lineker. Oh man, that's just it. Just sucks. At the end, that it just I don't even have the words. It just sucks, and I keep clenching my nuts. Like oh my god, it, oh, that looked like it fucking hurt. Oh man, respect to him for even standing up after that shot. Indeed, brother. Indeed. This is going to leave a bad sign for one. I don't think so. I don't think so, JC. Things happen like this all the time. Brian Ortega, Yair Rodriguez in the UFC, that main event, there was a lot of hype behind that main event. 30 seconds in, Ortega dislocates his shoulder. Um, what's another one? Curtis Blades, Tom Aspinall. 20 seconds in, Aspinall tears his knee. I mean, it happens. It's the sport. At least we got... At least we got... Three minutes... And 20, three minutes, what was it? Or sorry, three rounds and two minutes. That's what I'm trying to say. Jesus, I'm getting tired. Three rounds and two minutes we had of fights. So there you go. Wow. What a great night of fights regardless, folks. Unfortunate ending indeed. Wow. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. I'm a little lost of words. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to run the simulator. We're going to pick a winner from our contest. So shout out to everyone who entered the contest. So we'll choose a winner for the contest. We will give everyone in the live chat a shout out. And then I'm going to go to bed. Then I'm going to go to bed because it's going to be an early morning for UFC 280. So unfortunate ending. We're not going to wait for, we're not going to wait and continue to stream for the post limbs. Yes, there's two post limbs after this. <laughs> we're not going to wait for those. We're going to take a quick break here. I'm going to choose a winner. So don't go anywhere if you're here. If you have any thoughts on the fight, if you have any thoughts on the event, Hey, get them in the live chat. We'll talk for a little bit longer before I hang up the gloves. Choose a winner. I'll give everybody in the live chat a shout out and then we'll go to bed. So give me two minutes back on the other side, probably even less than two minutes. We'll choose a winner. We'll give everyone a shout out. We'll run down what we're doing tomorrow and then we'll all go to bed and wake up bright and early for UFC. All right, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. I'm going to choose a winner from the contest. What we do is all you had to do to enter was like the video, drop a comment in the live chat. If we hit our goal of 50 likes on the video, we'll choose a winner. Everybody who commented in the live chat, your name was automatically saved. I have a little generator here that saves your name if you comment in the live chat. doesn't matter if you've commented once or 100 times. You get one entry. I'm going to run the simulator. We'll choose a name. I'll announce the name. Give you all a shout out. 
and then we'll hang up the gloves for tonight. Give me your thoughts on the fights. Give me your thoughts on the event. I want to read them before we end the stream. Be back in two minutes. folks we are back live here on the city life project youtube channel i want to say a big thank you to everybody who joined us this evening i know we had some connection issues throughout the stream in and out of the stream of course the one championship fight ends and look at full bars but anyways appreciate you all who tuned in throughout this entire stream appreciate you all who tuned in this morning for one championship 162 we're gonna do all the amazon prime ones so again just Everyone who supported us on the channel, new viewers, old viewers, the regular viewers, you are all amazing. I appreciate you all. Just again, last time I'll say this, I am in the midst of moving. I just moved to a new home. I just moved to a new country. Um, so I'm still kind of living out of boxes. So apologies for kind of my stream setup and just, you know, some of the issues that we may have had tonight. It's probably because, you know, I'm in a new spot, don't have everything set up perfectly, don't have the new Wi-Fi booster set up. You know, don't have the extension cord to the big uh, modem yet. Like, we're, we're testing things out here. So, appreciate your patience with me. But it was a fun fight card nonetheless. The audio came in through fine. So, I'm glad that I was able to at least provide some play-by-play -play for those who needed it. We hit 50 likes on the video here, though. So, we have a winner from the contest. And you know what? Given how active this man was today, it's almost ironic, but a beautiful ironic. I smiled and was like, if, if I could pick someone today, this is who I would pick. I'm glad the generator, the universe, whatever you want to call it, picked it as well. Gravedigger Jones. Congratulations, buddy. You won a piece of City Life Project merchandise. Please email me. Or actually, you, you have me on Twitter, right? You just follow me on Twitter. I got to follow you back. DM me, message me on Twitter. I'll send you... Um, and then you don't even have to send me an email message me on Twitter, grave digger. And, uh, and I will send you the link to our merch store. Um, and then you can choose a prize. Just let me know, like choose anything from our merch store. Just let me know your size and shipping address and we'll get that to you. I thought he'd be more stoked and the wild have a matinee. Hey, oh, uh, is any of USC? It's 280, Shane. 280 on Fight Pass or TSN. Yes, the early prelims are on F Fight Pass, and then all the prelims are on TSN. Uh, dude, I don't know. It's fucking Abu Dhabi time. I know the main card starts at... It's early, Shane. That's all I'm going to say. It's early, because the main card starts at 2 p.m. Central. So the main card for you would start at 11. So I would say you're looking at 7 or 8 o'clock a.m., something like that. Cade got me intrigued to all grappling. Sweet. Well, when I end this stream here, I'm going to DM you. Uh, I'm going to DM you some some grapplers to keep your eye out, to keep your eyes on, like Mikey Musumeci, Ryan Gordon, or Gordon Ryan. Jesus Christ, Isha. I just Google it. It's kind of early for you. I was up. Actually, I shouldn't even say it. I almost was up at 6 a.m. today. <laughs> Um, well, Shane, when you get up, just fire up uh, TSN and watch whatever fight you know is still playing. 
Let's go grave digger! <laughs> you can dig some graves in your City Life Project merch. Let's go! <laughs> no, seriously, man. Appreciate all the support that you show to the channel, Grave Digger. You're an absolute beauty. And today you were here from, from sunrise to sunset. So you're the man. I appreciate the support to the channel. DM me on Twitter. I'll get back to you probably tomorrow. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to send some grappling videos to Matt, and then I'm going to prepare the UFC stream, then go to bed, try to get some sleep. Um, lucky I'm on Central Time, so it starts a little bit later than, uh, than I guess, Shane out there in Pacific. But uh, but again, Grave Digger, I'll get in contact with you tomorrow, and I uh, can't wait to send you a prize, buddy. For those who didn't win this week, didn't win this stream well tomorrow ufc 280 bright and early we will be doing a contest again on that one if we get to 50 likes on the video 100 likes or our goal of 1200 subscribers on that video tomorrow we will give away more merchandise uh thank you good sir uh reaper j202 always yeah message me on twitter or else i'll forget or i'll like remember tomorrow midstream and have like a panic attack but just just message me even right now grave digger and i'll give it the thumbs up and uh send me your yeah we'll, we'll just connect and I'll, I'll make sure that you choose the prize you want you know whether it's a hoodie crew neck a t-shirt um and then you can send me your size and shipping address and all that stuff cannot wait for the videos hell yeah brother hell yeah um again what an amazing nights of fight amazing night of fights you are all amazing we do a minimum of two fight companions slash watch alongs every week we did one championship 162 this morning we just wrapped up one on prime video three and tomorrow we are doing ufc 280 all day all day here on the city light project youtube channel so if you dig these watch alongs if you dig these watch parties like the video subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications we post ufc uh picks and predictions every now and then again i'm still i'm still getting settled here but i will get back into posting ufc picks and predictions we post vlogs on the channel we post music content we post reaction videos fishing videos tarantula feedings we met kenny hots and spencer rice from kenny versus spenny and oh my god folks it was unbelievable. We vlogged the whole thing as well. So, so much more than just fight content, but you better believe that you'll get a heavy dose of fight content on this channel as well. So, thank you all. Thank you, Grave Digger. I'll give a shout out to everyone before we hang up the skates. And you know what? I'm going to do it comfortably here. I'm going to do it comfortably. <sighs> thank you, Grave Digger. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Shane. Shout out to you, JC. Shout out to you, Jim. Shout out to Brittany and Brian, to Payne, to Aaron, to Vasco, to, 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 to Adnan, to Stanley Cup champs, my man, um, ba, 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 to Dario, Clark. You all are amazing. Thank you so much for joining. Liam, of course, how could I forget? Liam Wolf, you guys, ugh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for making this such a fun stream. I mean, I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. I feel like I might have missed one or two of you, but if I did, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. It's been a long night. I gave everybody who was commenting the most anyways a lot, uh, a shout out. Gravedigger won the contest. Yeah, that shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Folks, you are all amazing. Thank you so much for joining. Like and subscribe. Like the video that you know we post soon here. The UFC 280 stream. I'll see you tomorrow. Again, two live streams every single week on this channel, sometimes more. And we cover more than just the UFC. So check out what we offer on the channel. I'm going to bed. See you all tomorrow. Get your UFC picks in, baby. Comment on this video after it's posted what you thought of this event and what your UFC picks are for tomorrow. I love you all. Good night.